I just think back to Governor Gilmore's speech and it almost instantly puts things back into perspective. It's like he said, go forward and be successful and achieve your hopes and dreams and aspirations. All I can say is I hope I've lived up to that incredible lesson. And in local news, a five-year-old figures he has about a year left of peeing at urinals with his pants all the way down. In other news, using the amount of toothpaste shown in commercials is a disgusting experience. A grizzled proofreader has seen it written both ways, and a cackling Warren Buffett burns his entire fortune in front of the nation. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever's on your mind. Just dial on in toll-free here to 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype as well. You may Skype into the show. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so connect with us in the way that works best for you. And the us tonight is me, Ian. And me, Johnny Ray. So, again, we'll talk to you about whatever happens to be on your mind. There's a story coming out of a website that really seems to be very busy with content, the Free Thought Project. I don't know who's behind this site, but uh, they've they've constantly got interesting news stories uh, to talk about. And, and, you know, normally there's some sort of version of that story that is being reported in the mainstream media as well. So uh, this is cited from WPXI.com. Man facing charges for hanging an American flag upside down and spray painting it. According to the Free Thought Project and WPXI, a man in Blair County, Pennsylvania, said he was standing up for his American Indian heritage and expressing his beliefs when he donned the American flag uh, upside down on the outside of his house and then spray painted it. But the fascist police in Blair County quickly saw an opportunity for oppression and came a stomping. I was offended by it when I first saw it. I had an individual stop here at the station, a female who was in the military, and she was very offended by it, said Allegheny Township Police Assistant Chief L.J. Berg. Yes, they will be offended. Apparently, Chief Berg and other neighbors of oppression haven't seen the thousands of veterans and active-duty military in this country who also have flown the flags upside down. And then the Free Thought Project inputs a couple of photos of some people in military garb, you know, looks like a sailor in one of them or a Marine perhaps, and then an Army guy in another, both holding flags in a protest manner by one guy by a street uh, upside down. Maybe uh, maybe it's not as offensive to people if it's actually somebody who's in the military who is flying the flag upside down. This happened in another county, Buncombe County, a few years ago uh, in Asheville. Somebody was was flying a flag upside down, and I think a a county sheriff was upset by it and and forced his way into the home. Maybe had wow. had some kind of altercation with the people. Pete Air went down there and and talked to those people uh, later, and that's all I remember about it. In this case, he has been charged. Comrade Berg took down the flag and charged Joshua Brubaker with desecration and insults to the American flag. Uh, so I'll bring you the actual story here from WPXI.com. Police said what he did was inexcusable. And uh, she says, I removed it from the building, folded it properly, and seized it as evidence, said Berg. This is the police assistant chief. Brubacker defended his actions, said he never meant to upset or offend anyone. He said he and his wife are of American Indian heritage and are passionate about the American Indian movement, specifically in the Midwest. He says, I found that Wounded Knee is up for sale, not only privately but commercially. It's just not right. And simply because I express myself in a way that somebody else doesn't like or agree with doesn't mean I should be persecuted for having beliefs. With many of his own family members serving in the military at one point in their lives, Brubaker said the flag should give him the right to express uh, express his beliefs. Now, point of clarification. Uh, rights don't come from a flag. The flag doesn't give you anything. It's just an inanimate object. It's a piece of cloth. And uh, rights come from, if they exist at all, and I think that they're a good idea, so let's believe in them. Uh, rights come from mutual agreement. Rights are innately human. And some would argue that animals have rights. That's a whole other uh, conversation to have. 
But rights are something that we grant each other. I, this is how I see it. And then Johnny Rafe, I, you know, I'd love to hear if you if you differ on sort of rights theory or whatever. But because rights are a good idea, the idea of respecting what other people believe, even if or or tolerating it, even if you don't agree with it. Uh, respecting their rights to live their lives how they want to, it's a good concept for people to embrace. It's something that we should have by virtue of being alive, not because of some flag or because somebody in the military went over and died in the dirt in another country under the orders of a politician. So that's, to me, rights don't come from that. Yeah, to me, rights are just freedoms you have that it would be wrong, according to me, for someone else to try to take away from you. And rights are, you're born with them. Governments cannot give you rights. All they can do is take them away from you. And in this case, they are taking away this man's uh, property. Number one, this was his house. He hung the flag outside of his house, uh, upside down. He wrote, looks like the letters A-I-M on it. I'm not so sure what that stands for, and the uh, the story doesn't mention it here. But whatever it is, uh, American Indian Movement, perhaps, that would be my guess. Because uh, he says he's affiliated with the American Indians. And so he's very, very upset, and rightfully so. He's now facing criminal charges over this. And I have to wonder, how many times have people in this uh, this man's area, and this is Blair County, Pennsylvania, by the way, we're talking about, how many people have been charged with flag desecration? And how many of those people who have been charged with flag desecration have actually not uh, taken the plea deal? Because a lot of times when the government's coming at you with a criminal charge, it's a scary process. It's intimidating. They designed a system that is made to be intimidating, that it's confusing. It's something that you don't want to be a part of. You don't want to have anything to do with it. You just want to make it go away, typically. So if anybody else has been charged with this in the past, how many of them have actually gone to trial? And will this man uh, go to trial? That remains to be seen. Ian, according to Wikipedia... The United States Supreme Court in Texas v. Johnson and reaffirmed in U.S. v. Eichmann has ruled that due to the First Amendment to the United States Constitution, it is unconstitutional for a government, whether federal, state, or municipal, to prohibit the desecration of a flag due to its status as symbolic speech. However, content-neutral restrictions may still be imposed to regulate the time, place, and manner of such expression. So they've given themselves some sort of a window there, some kind of a loophole, but I don't know if it'll apply in this case. I mean, time, content, manner, I mean, he's in his house. You're allowed just... to burn the flag on the first Tuesday of the month, but <laughs> at no other time. Well, we, we, it'd be interesting to see how this pans out. I sure hope that he uh, he goes ahead and, and doesn't take the plea deal and goes to trial on this one. Uh, with many of his own family members uh, serving the military, he goes on, he says, I don't have a right to fly that, if I don't have a right to fly that flag upside down, which means a sign of distress, which this country is in so much distress right now, he says, then what's the point of having it? Authorities say there are other ways he could have expressed himself other than defacing a symbol so many have fought hard to protect. Berg, the police officer, says people have made too many sacrifices to protect the flag and to have this happen in my community... I'm not happy with that. Brubaker says he wishes those who were offended would have come to him, so he would have explained he could have explained his position. He is facing misdemeanor charges and hopes police will reconsider. If you get upset because someone else dishonors a symbol that's important to you and you're and you're willing to lay hands on somebody for that, that's a sign of childishness and and a simple mind. It certainly is. I mean, this is outrageous, and I wonder if there's anybody out there in the listening audience who thinks that what hap- is happening to this man, criminal charges, is the right way to handle things. Are you happy about this? Do you think this guy should be facing jail time? Do you think he should be facing any kind of punishment for doing this? There are a lot of symbols out there in the world. The world's full of symbols, and many of them are very meaningful to some people, but you have to, uh, in a world of in a supposedly free place, you have to steel yourself to the idea that somebody might dis, uh, disrupt your symbol. They might take your symbol and do something that is offensive with it. Certainly, people in various religions have seen their symbols uh, defaced in a variety of ways, whether it be their favorite holy book set aflame or perhaps something else you know, happening to something, you know, burning a cross or Whatever. So there's terrible things that can be done to desecrate a, a variety of symbols out there. 
And people do these things because they know it gets a rise out of folks. They take these actions because they know. And he's acting like, I didn't know anything would happen. I don't know if I believe him on that one. Yeah, I'm not buying that necessarily but either. Regardless of what he knew would happen or what he expected would happen. Maybe he didn't think he'd get arrested for it, because that seems pretty ridiculous. But uh, anyway, we'd love to get your thoughts. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Desecration of the flag. Should it be a criminal act? Apparently it is in Pennsylvania. 855-450-FREE. You take control here on Free Talk Live. Gold Bond presents Shaquille O'Neal. So I'm hanging out with my Gold Bond buddies, and they're like, Shaq, Shaq, great job with the Gold Bond powder spray. People love it. So I'm soaking in the good vibes, kicking off my shoes. Next thing I know, they're coming out with a new foot powder spray. Boom. Shaq strikes again. Gold Bond No Mess Powder Spray cools and refreshes your body. And new Gold Bond Foot Powder Spray has two times the odor-absorbing powders to do the same for your feet. Stay cool with Gold Bond. Summer is almost here, which means it's time to get out and play. And at the Guitar Center Memorial Day Sale, you'll find some of our lowest prices of the year on the best gear throughout the store. And with deals like Toka Djembe drums for only 19 bucks, or Squire Stratocaster electric guitars for only 89 bucks, or a digital reference mic for just 10 bucks, the only question is, where will you play? Guitar Center's Memorial Day Sale, now through Monday, in-store and online. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Free Talk Live. They believe, I think, that government can be good as long as you just elect the right people, which, of course, is nonsense. Government can never be good because it's an agency of coercive force. It doesn't matter who's running it. It doesn't matter what the goals of the organization are. As long as it's funded through coercion, as long as it's funded through threats of violence, then nothing it can do is ever moral or justified. They understand the system and they want to work inside it to change it. So, therefore, in order to have their hunger strike that they planned, which I thought was a great idea, they went to the government and what they do? Get a per- ask for a permit. They asked for a permit. <laughs> they asked for a permit. It was already over at that point, right? Whenever you ask permission from the government, you might as well expect them to say... No. No. You know what? It sounds like government has this non-cooperation thing down to a science. Yeah, right? Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm.
This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can take control of the airwaves toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, and you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features that we share with you there. Uh, Again, that's freetalklive.com. The features include archives that go all the way back to late 2006. Now, we've talked a lot about Bitcoin here on Free Talk Live, and you've been probably thinking about Bitcoin. If you haven't pulled the trigger yet and gotten yourself some Bitcoin, we'll tell you about how to do that a little bit later on tonight. But if you're already on board, if you're ready to move forward, if you've got a if you're a business person and you've got a physical location where you do business and you'd like to accept Bitcoin from your customers, we've got a solution for you. Blockchain.com has launched a market a business app that will actually allows you to receive uh, Bitcoins. It won't allow you to send them out if, for instance, you don't want to have your employees being able to have access to your bank account. They should only be able to accept payments for you. So that's what the merchant app does over at blockchain.com. You know about blockchain.info if you've been listening to Free Talk Live for a while. That's where you can go to get your own free Bitcoin wallet for your personal purposes. But blockchain.com is their business side of their site. And that is where you can download their app for uh, from the Google Play Store and uh, install it. There's no ID requirements. There are no terms of service. You just get started with zero fees from blockchain.com and make it easy to accept Bitcoin at your business. Again, that's blockchain.com. So the story that we started the show out here tonight with is about flag, uh, not flag burning, but flag desecration, as it is called. There's a man who is being charged criminally in Blair County, Pennsylvania, with flag desecration. And I think it's absolutely shocking. It's it's horrifying what they're doing to this guy. He's acting like he's surprised about it. And I can't say I'm too surprised about how people are behaving around this. People are very attached to this particular symbol. And uh, indeed, the police chief here, or not the chief, but one of the the cops who was involved in the arrest, assistant chief, uh, Chief Berg, says, People have made too many sacrifices to protect the flag. And to have this happen in my community, well, I'm not happy with that. Well, I'm sorry, but if you're not happy with it, the right way to deal with that situation is to express yourself. The, the right way to handle uh, offensive speech is to speak more, in my opinion. And we've had a, an, an issue here actually recently, uh, Johnny Ray. I don't know if you're familiar with what went on in Keene's Central Square this weekend with the war on smiley faces. No, I'm not aware. So Saturday, uh, there were uh, – actually, for several days, I guess, there have been uh, – over the last week or so, there have been some conflicts – in Keene Central Square, between liberty activists who have been drawing with chalk on the sidewalks there and some other places, uh, but drawing on uh, with chalk, which, you know, tends to wash away with the first rainfall. Which, you know, that's how it goes. But some people don't like that, and they've come out and they've attempted to put a stop to it. They've brought out brooms. They've brought out water, and they've been destroying this beautiful chalk artwork that people have been putting down. So Saturday... Uh, Liberty activists went out again to Central Square in Keene. They brought with them uh, lots of chalk, and they. it it looked like I didn't go out Saturday. I didn't see this in person, but from the video footage that I saw, it looked like they'd covered pretty much every part of all of the pavement in Central Square with smiley faces. And, you know, the occasional heart and other things. But for the most part, smiley faces, all in chalk. And at some point, while the activists were still in the park, a couple of people who are part of a group called Stop Free Keen showed up with push brushes and water jugs, began filling the water jugs from the, uh, the fountain that's there. And I, that may be illegal, by the way, taking water from the fountain for the purpose of just pouring it wherever, or just taking the water, period. I, if it were... If it were liberty activists who were taking the water, I suspect the police would have found a reason to mess with us for that. But regardless, they were taking water from this fountain and pouring it all over the beautiful smiley faces. And it was a tragic uh, smiley genocide that went on in Keene's Central Square this weekend. The activists diligently continued, even in the, uh, the, the company of these destructors, these people who are there to destroy the artwork, uh, they continued to chalk smiley faces. So even on the wet pavement, the activists continued to chalk. 
apparently this went on i don't know for how long but the, until it it took them a while right because they they were literally scrubbing every inch of this uh of the and it's not a huge park but there's a there's a fair amount of pavement in in central square they they literally scrubbed it all clean so it took them as long as it took them to do that and eventually they left uh the activists continued to chalk after they left the next day uh, activists came back at around noon, and the chalkings were still there. The the remainder chalkings from the previous night were still there. We then added more, so I I took part on Sunday, and we added more smiley faces and other drawings. And uh, Mariah, one of the activists in the area, made a very beautiful chalk painting sort of thing on the on the ground. And uh, the next day, apparently, they were removed sometime in the morning as well. So the the war on chalk, the war on smileys, has uh, has escalated here in Keene, New Hampshire. The war between free Keene and stop free Keene. Well, I'm not interested in in personally being in a war uh, with anybody. I I love stop free Keene and the people that are involved in it. I I know that they're just mistaken. There are our brothers and sisters, and they're just they're wrong about the liberty community. They're uh, they're confused about the people here. And many of them don't want to learn the truth about their neighbors. You know, they're upset. They feel like uh, their perfect little town has been disrupted by those dastardly liberty activists with their topless Tuesdays, which was years ago, and the 420 celebrations. You know, everybody has their thing that they're upset about. It was interesting. I was reading the Times of London article today, which came out yesterday. Actually, there was a, a feature piece about. Free Keen and the Free State Project. And the Times reporter actually went downtown to talk to people on the streets, said he got mixed reactions from folks. For instance, one of the people who's a barber downtown likes a lot of the things that uh, liberty activists have done in Keene. But the barber said, we crossed the line when there was a mass haircutting civil disobedience that happened. Seriously? Wow. Yeah. And I don't know about you, Johnny, right? I've been here a long time. So have you. I don't remember a mass haircutting civil disobedience. I do remember Cat Canning one year doing an illegal haircut out in front of the courthouse, but I don't remember a mass haircutting event. I don't recall any anything more than one haircutter and one haircuttee. There was there was a I wouldn't go so far as to call it a mass haircutting, although it was multiple individuals staged by myself, Ian. And and you may remember as I continue to go on, but a few years ago I had a a moonshine and haircutting party at my house mm -hmm. where I was I had distilled um, some alcohol, uh, several gallons worth of alcohol in my kitchen, and I had a party and I was um, and people were buying haircuts and uh, and moonshine. And we gave the the proceeds, which were modest, to St. Jude's. But wow. there was that. But it wasn't publicized. I yeah, would I be surprised if this, this barber would um, w would have known. Yeah, I, it's just the weirdest thing. Like, well, apparently we missed out on this haircut and ass haircutting civil disobedience that happened in Keene that what? apparently offended this guy. Uh, we'll come back with more here in moments. If you want to com comment on the uh, the man with the American flag, the smiley face genocide, whatever you want, goes here on Free Talk Live at 855-450-FREE. You've been lied to. Lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. My name is Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my Inc. Magazine best-selling book, Safe Money Millionaire, because Wall Street's 401k and other investment plans have failed millions of Americans. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash several years ago, I said enough. Since then, I've discovered an IRS-approved way to safely grow my money up to 12 to even 17%, cut taxes dramatically, but also have my money protected when the next crash comes. Call now to talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to potentially build a million-dollar tax-free retirement income. Get potential 12 to 17% returns and never lose when the next crash hits. Call 888-885-8820 and discover this tool that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney used to safely grow rich. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling. Call 888-885-8820. 888-885-8820. Again, that's 888-885-8820. We know you're out there. We can feel you now. We know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. We don't know the future. We aren't here to tell you how this is going to end. 
We're here to tell you how it's going to begin. We're going back to editing the next edition of Freedom's Phoenix Digital Magazine now, where we are telling the people what you don't want them to know. We're showing them a world without you, a world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries, a world where anything is possible. Where we go from there is a choice we leave to you. Subscribe at freedomsphoenixeasy.com. That's freedoms with an S, phoenixeasy.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. The following is an important free offer for smokers only. The makers of Victor, the world's most advanced e-cigarette, have just authorized the release of free starter kits to all smokers who call in the next 10 minutes. Valued at $99, these Victor starter kits are available for free, but only while supplies last. To guarantee your free kit, call in the next 10 minutes, 1-800-564-6941. The revolutionary Victor design creates only water vapor. There is no foul-smelling smoke and no unhealthy tar. This allows individuals to enjoy the nicotine they love without restriction, no matter where they are. The financial advantages over cigarettes are considerable as well. It is estimated that the average smoker can save hundreds of dollars a month with Victor. Again, free Victor starter kits are now available to any smoker who calls in the next 10 minutes. This is a radio-only offer not available in stores, so call now for your free kit. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. 1-800-564-6941. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. Just dial in toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you. Those other talk show hosts, they want to charge you for accessing their sites. Ours is free at freetalklive.com. Coming up very soon, the Porcupine Freedom Festival. At this point, Johnny Ray, we are just over one month away from Porkfest 2014. It's going to be the 11th annual, and it's happening June 22nd through the 29th. That will be a Sunday through a Sunday, and it's going to be a great time. If you've never been to Porkfest, you want to make sure you come to this one. It's going to be huge. Last year, there were over 1,500 people. Maybe we'll push 2,000 this year. Who knows what the total numbers are going to be, but it's a it's a blast. There are hundreds of people, over 1,000 people likely, that will come together together. The same campground for one week's time. Many of them coming on uh, th- during the week. Like last year, I was blown away at how many people were there on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, so it just seems to keep getting bigger earlier on in the week, year after year. And of course, it really blows up on the weekend. So even if you can't dedicate an entire week to spending it in New Hampshire, you should at least dedicate the weekend of the 27th, 28th, and 29th. And come on out and check out the Porcupine Freedom Festival. It's a great experience because you get to be around other people who actually care about freedom, people who understand what liberty is all about, that in order to be free, you have to allow others to be free, and that freedom means you should be able to live your life how you want, so long as you don't harm anybody else. And that should include being able to hold, you know, hang a flag upside down or write something on that flag or whatever. So go to uh, freestateproject.org to learn more about the Free State Project, which is a longer-term idea of moving people like you and I, Johnny Ray, uh, to New Hampshire. You and I are early movers for the Free State Project. 
And we're still trying to get to 20,000 people who are going to pledge to move here. We've got over 15,500 now who are currently pledged. And a good chunk of those people are going to be at the Porcupine Freedom Festival. So you get a taste of what it's like in New Hampshire during the summertime. You get to experience what being around liberty-oriented neighbors is like and the community, which is unprecedented that we have here. Go to porkfest.com and check out uh, check out the website. Get registered. You can still buy tickets uh, online through the end of this month, Porkfest, P-O-R-C-F-E-S-T dot com. It's coming up fast. It'll be here before you know it. Uh, J- June 20, uh, 22nd through the 29th. Look forward to seeing you there because we're broadcasting live every night. Darren is in Utah to start things out here. Darren, you're on Free Talk Live. It's not Darren. It's Aaron, but that's fine. I uh, apologize. The, show. the bo- board no, op no, should... Okay. The, it's hard to hear something. <laughs> yeah. Board op's supposed to ask people how they spell their names, and I guess he uh, he presumed he understood you. So go ahead. No, no, you're fine. No no biggie. No no biggie at all. I get called worse things. So, hey, big fan of the show and uh, plan on pork fest and things like that. Um, Great. Way excited about that. So I'm always glad to hear you guys plug that. Hey, I, I want to take some issue, though, with your characterization of those coming and cleaning the streets, um, the smiley face terrorists uh, versus, the, versus the smiley face activists. I think that they have every right to, meaning these uh, smiley face terrorists, to come in and clean the street. They certainly do. Uh, with, with water and with brushes, even though it's um, you know, gr- degrading somebody's artwork that they have just spent time on. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I think that they have the, the, the same right or same liberty to go out and on those streets to clean them or to put our work on them or do it just just like your uh, free keen people are doing. And I just wanted to make sure that— I totally you know, agree I, with you. Did I, I, if I okay. said they didn't have a right, then I must have misspoken. I don't think I've said they didn't have a right to do that. But they have a right. Well, it's just the characterization. Just the characterization. That's what I'm disagreeing with because it, may, it makes it sound like, you know, smiley face genocide, like these guys are doing some horrible thing. Oh, they are, in my opinion. Mind. I think it is horrible what they're doing. Exactly. I mean, who, what kind of person destroys a smiley face? I mean, you've got to be a real, you know, it, I think it reveals some level of who they really are, the, their kind of personality. I mean, there were, there were kids out there chalking smiley faces. It wasn't, you know, just adults. So they were destroying the artwork yeah. of. No, uh, no, I'm on board with the. I'm on, I'm I'm on board with the campaign. I get that, but I don't necessarily think they're horrible people for being activists of their own kind and and being you know um for their. Oh, for I don't their think own. they're horrible people. As I said before, they're just misguided. They're misguided. Our misguided brothers and sisters who think that they believe that the liberty activists are horrible people. They say very insulting things on their "Stop Free Keen!" exclamation 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 Facebook group. Yeah, that's uh, not that's not cool at all. I don't think that's cool. I just want to make sure that everybody knows out there, us liberty minded people, we respect the fact that you're uh, you're you're being an activist for your own cause, as long as it's not infringing or hurting other people. We don't necessarily agree with the smiley face genocide. We don't like that. I don't like that. I don't think it's very cool. But at the same time, I do have to yield and recognize that they do have the ability to come wash those streets right when I'm drawing smiley face. They certainly do. That's all I wanted to say. Hey, thanks, Aaron. I appreciate hearing from you. Yeah, they absolutely have the the right. They have the ability. It's It's the commons. In fact, not only do they have the right to, uh, you know, to come in and wash it away, but they also would have would have had the right to to write over it, uh, to you know, in the same way that have you, have you ever seen a, one of these graffiti walls, uh, Johnny Ray, where sure. uh, in in Venice uh, on Venice Beach in California, I was there visiting briefly uh, during a convention one year. I saw these walls that somebody had donated, I guess, or maybe the town had put up. That essentially they exist for graffiti purposes. So the idea is, you know, put a place. For people to do graffiti, and then maybe there won't be as much graffiti in the like on private property is I think the idea behind these walls. Uh-huh. And so they're constantly being it's basically a you know a wall with two sides that just kind of sits out on the beach, and there's always people out there tagging those walls. And so if you were to put some graffiti art up on that wall, it might stay for 24 hours, but I don't think it would last much longer than that. Because there's always somebody out there just tagging right over on top of it, and it's just kind of the rules of the game. It's public property. It's a uh, up. It's up there for for use in that way, and 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 the people that are using that understand it. If you want to immortalize it, then take a picture of it because it might not be there tomorrow. And in the same way with chalking, I mean, the person who chalks certainly cannot expect for their artwork to stay for a variety of reasons. It could rain in another hour. You know, it could, uh, the next day, somebody could come chalk over it, or as these folks have done, uh, brush it away. And uh, it's just that not only, yes, they do have the right to do what they did, but 
it still doesn't feel right, does it? To you. I'm ambivalent you, towards the you're smiley okay face with it? You genocide. think it's fine to just destroy smiley faces? Yes, especially you, if it's from children. You, you, <laughs> you support even more if it's a child smiley face. That is a joke. But because I suspect that these same people who are erasing the activist smiley faces, had they come across uh, the two little girls that were out there on Sunday who were uh, chalking smiley faces and other things, you know, that whatever it is they felt inspired to chalk, mm -hmm. had they been the only ones in the park doing chalking on that day, I suspect, uh, and if the, if the Stop Free Keen people saw them doing it, I suspect their chalkings would be left alone. Yeah, I would not be ambivalent towards someone washing deliberately washing away a child's chalked artwork. However, what happened, what it sounds to me like what happened was there were people who were chalking as a form of political protest, even mm -hmm. though they were smiley faces, that, that chalking is kind of an M.O. of Free Keen. So, so then the Stop Free Keen people— it's an M.O. of Free Keen. Uh, it's an M.O. of, in this case, Garrett Ian, who's one of the more prolific chalkers. He's a blogger at Free Keen. But I would say the majority of the bloggers are not chalkers at, uh, at Free Keen. I contend— I did chalk on Sunday. That the chalking on Sunday was a political statement, and the washing off of the chalk was also a political statement, mm -hmm. and I'm indifferent to both acts. I'm kind of a soft-spoken person, Ian. I don't usually give my opinion unless someone asks me for it. Mm -hmm. And I sort of look down my nose at writing political slogans on the sidewalk with chalk. However, it being the commons, I also sort of perversely support things that upset people in the commons because I, I don't like the idea of communal property <laughs> where you're forced into— So wait, does that mean you support both the smileys being chalked and the removal of the smileys because some people would be upset by both of those actions? I do support both 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 actions. Does that mean you also supported Anarcho Jesse years ago when he burned three flags in Central Square? The uh, the, the city of Keene, no, not city of Keene, the state of New Hampshire, the United States, and the UN flag. Yes, you support him on that. Yes, more so than the chalking. I'm not sure exactly why right now. I'm I'm, I'm turning it over in my well, head. Well, let's talk about that coming up here in moments. Probably because the at the flag burns and it turns to ash and blows away. I did uh, post a picture, by the way, of Jesse uh, lighting up the New Hampshire state flag. It's a really good photo from Wikipedia. Uh, it's on our Facebook page. We'll come back with more here in moments. Your thoughts are welcome. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Hey everyone, have you heard about the No No Hair Removal Device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for No No Hair Removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my No No. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No No Hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062.
Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc, as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, bring up whatever is on your mind. Maybe you would like to comment on the man in trouble in Pennsylvania for hanging a flag upside down and writing AIM on it. Stands for American Indian Movement. Uh, so he's looking at misdemeanor charge, uh, a misdemeanor charge at least for this, possibly up to a year in jail. If I mean, I don't know if it's a class A or whatever it is, but there could be jail time involved in this. And we kind of got into another conversation about things that are offensive to people. Because people who burn the flag are generally seen as very offensive. That action is seen as an offensive action. People are upset by it. Uh, One lady on our Facebook profile says, Desecration of the American flag is not acceptable. Sorry if you don't agree. Well, I'm sorry if it's not acceptable to you. You don't have to look. You could just turn away and go in a different direction if somebody's doing something that you find unacceptable. Because there's a lot of things that people can do that are upsetting or unacceptable. Would love to get your thoughts. Uh, You shouldn't be free from offense in a free country, in a supposedly free country. Now, we know it's not free. We know America is, in in a lot of ways, an unfree place. But in theory, if it were actually free, then you shouldn't be able to just claim that you've been offended and use that as the excuse to take somebody's stuff to take their property or in this case to take their person to take their actual human body and put them in a cage sorry that's not acceptable 855 450 freeze the toll-free number and i want to make sure you know about door devil door devil.com that's where you can go to learn more about the door devil and uh, whether you've spent hundreds of dollars in an alarm system for your home or not spending the 60 bucks to permanently reinforce your door is a smart move because the door is the very place that burglars are statistically most likely to attack. That's because burglars know that unlike window entries, the door entry, if there's an alarm system, they know they've got a minute or two to go and, you know, the, the homeowner who's normally coming through the front door has a minute or two to get to that location where the alarm box is and punch in the the code to stop the alarm from going off. So they know they have a little more time to come through the door. So you load up on the uh, the door devil, which I had my handyman install here at the LRN.FM studio, and it uh, it really shores up the door in a, in a very effective manner. He was really impressed with it. And the price is right. 60 bucks could put a stop to uh, a break-in. So go and check it out at doordevil.com. That's doordevil.com. 
Com. The one time, the second time I was robbed when I lived uh, at uh, here on Church Street here in Keene. The first time I was mm. robbed by the police, they took my still. But the second time I got robbed, I had my Xbox stolen and my Wii stolen. And um, I can't remember what else, but the door was kicked in. Man. Mm-hmm. Somebody so. just put their boot to it and kicked it right in. Had your landlord had the Door Devil, it could have changed how that uh, that panned out. So check it out at DoorDevil.com. We'll continue. Your calls and thoughts are welcome. Johnny Ray, you were just telling us that you thought that uh, burning the flag, you kind of support the idea of doing offensive things in public. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Yeah, uh, all of my sensibilities kind of go out the window when it comes to the, to the, the common spaces, when it comes to public property. Because I'm so opposed to the whole notion of public property that people get, for me, people get a free pass. They can do whatever they want. So I you was, supported Topless Tuesdays, 420 celebrations, open container in the park. Um, yep, yeah, there's I nothing you down, wouldn't support. Uh, just open sex uh, in the park. Would you be behind that? By that rule, yes, I would. <laughs> Uh, right. You know, I I walked down Main Street with an open beer. I got I got uh, cited for drinking beer in Central Square in the middle of the day. And that was the day I was arrested for standing in front of the police car, right? Right. Yeah. And it's not it's it's not really I don't think a very classy thing to do, but but I did it because of my hatred for public property. <laughs> what ended up happening with that charge? You I, went to court, right? Gosh, because I feel like I remember uh, you know seeing them pull a beer can out of a plastic Ziploc bag, yes. and putting it up on the stand or whatever. Yes, I had a trial, and I I simply asked the officer whether or not he had seen me, I don't know, harming any person or their property. Which of course he had not, and and he said no, I did not. And then I was found guilty and and charged, and I and I paid the fine. You did, yes. If memory serves. There were so many people there that, no, I, I got community service. I, oh, told, okay. I told the judge that I, that I could not pay. And then when the trial was over, the police officer came out and shook my hand. It was amazing. How about that? Let's go to the phones and get your thoughts here. Derek is on the line in Minnesota, northern part of the state, listening to WNMT. Hey there, Derek. Hey, good show, guys. Welcome, sir. Um, first time caller for you. All right. Been listening for quite a while and uh, interesting. Um, as far as the flag goes... I have a a Dodge pickup, a blue Dodge pickup, and I proudly fly the flag upside down on my tailgate. <laughs> and uh, I rewrote the Pledge of Allegiance for it. Is it painted on, Derek? Oh, go ahead and give us Pardon? your pledge. I said, it's, is, is the flag uh, it, painted on? It's decaled on. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, it's a bright blue Dodge truck, so it turned out perfect. And uh, it says, I pledge allegiance to the flag, one nation in distress with liberty and justice for some. Now, is this actually written, it's stenciled on to the back of the truck as well? Yes, it is. Now, what kind of response? And how long, is you, how long have you had this? And what kind of response do you get from people on the road and in parking lots? Um, well, a lot of people don't understand flying the flag upside down is a national distress signal. Mm-hmm. Happy Boyington used it in World War II. And, you know, they come up to you and they look at you and say, why are you disrespecting the flag? I'm not disrespecting it. I'm an ex-Marine. I used to put colors up every morning and take them down at night. And it's a national distress signal, and the way I feel is we are a nation in distress. Hmm. And does that pretty much handle the objection? I mean, because, you know, if you can play the military card, and Johnny Ray can play the military card, having been in the the Marines, was it, Johnny Ray? Right. And I cannot play this card. Uh, But if you have that card to play, I imagine that changes how people will approach you. So, like, they'll approach you thinking you're just some jerk who doesn't like the flag, and then they find out that you're actually former military and this is a protest. Does it change their tune at all? Yes, it, it seems to. Um, people then seem to kind of have a little bit more respect for you. Mm-hmm. And even at my house, when I put the flag up for Memorial Day, Veterans Day, and stuff, Marine Corps birthday, I fly it upside down. And how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it now for three years. 
What was it that uh, that kind of set you off? Was there was there a kind of the final straw that made you decide, all right, that's it. I'm going out there. I'm going to make this protest my protest. And you know what was it? Just the way the country's heading. Everything that uh, you know, the uh, older generations fought for to get this country going, and now we're going backwards faster than we. Uh, than you could believe. Derek, I uh, can appreciate the frustration, and I, I appreciate your story tonight. Anything else you want to share from your experience? Oh, that's it for tonight. All right, Derek. I just, it's first time I could uh, interject something in a conversation well, that you guys are having. Welcome aboard. Well, Thanks for calling Free Talk Live. Appreciate hearing from you tonight. The toll-free number. Listening. Yep, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I asked the question, Johnny Ray, on our Facebook, Google+, Plus, Twitter, uh, Facebook responses. The question I'd asked was, where is the crime in flag desecration? Talking about the original story of the guy who hung a flag outside of his house, and he wrote AIM. It was an upside-down flag, and he's now facing criminal charges. Uh, Matthew Stiltner says, if you were in the military and a flag upside-down is what offends you, I have to ask, did you truly realize what you were even fighting for then? You were fighting for the right to hang that flag upside down, right side up, and inside out. You were also fighting for it to wave high and burn fast. They are all symbols of the freedom that we should fully enjoy. You don't have to agree with it. You just have to understand that you can't have one side without the other. That's what they tell us as soldiers that we're fighting for. Uh, The freedom? Yeah, that's... It's propaganda. We're fighting to advance the interests of the politically connected, the the business interests often of the politically connected in Washington, D.C. Well, that much is certainly true, although it might be hard to express that message in a uh, flag-burning protest, which, of course, is really the biggest objection that I have to, to burning the flag is that it's not a very communicative form of protest. Because if somebody just drives by or whatever and they see someone burning a flag, they don't really know what that's all about. They don't know what the motivation is. They don't know what the message is besides fl- uh, flames being set to something that they probably have some sort of warm spot in their heart for. And uh, so I think that it's not the best form of activism. All that said, I did think Anarcho Jesse's classic flag burn here, it's, it's apparently an iconic one. It's on the uh, Wikipedia article was probably the best one I'd ever seen because he burned three flags, different flags. Hour two's coming up. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, May 20th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.37 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,292 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $456. Antiwar.com reports Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered Russian troops deployed in an area near the Ukrainian border to return to base after the completion of training operations. NATO Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen was quick to condemn the announcement, saying it was the third time Russia has reported a redeployment and that they could not see any movement on the border. Maybe they're not looking hard enough. Ukrainian border patrols confirmed a decrease in Russian military activity in the area along their mutual border, and Reuters also confirmed seeing tanks leaving the training area. NATO has long demanded Russia withdraw its troops, while Russia has urged Ukraine to similarly withdraw its troops from the border areas where they have been attacking protesters. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. A new poll from Gallup shows that Americans view the Democratic Party more favorably than the Republican Party, even though both parties have a net unfavorable rating. Democratic Party favorable ratings have held steady since last June, while Republican favorables have increased slightly from their all-time low last year. Still, if the Republicans' current favorability rating holds, they will have the lowest ever for either party in an election year. These ratings are based on a Gallup poll conducted April 24th through the 30th of this year, in which the Democratic Party had a favorable rating of 44%, compared with 34% favorable for the Republican Party. Overall, the GOP had a net favorability rating of negative 25, with 34% seeing the party as favorable and 59% seeing it as unfavorable. The Democrats' net favorable rating stands at negative 6, 44% seeing the party as favorable and 50% seeing them as unfavorable, marking the fifth consecutive poll dating back to June 2013, in which Americans have viewed this party more unfavorably than favorably. The Democrats' net favorable rating throughout Barack Obama's presidency has alternated between episodes of positivity, such as in 2009 and late 2012, and negativity, such as throughout 2010 and 2011. In political polling parlance, both major political parties are currently upside down with the American public, meaning they have net negative approval ratings. It has also been a decade since Americans simultaneously viewed both parties more favorably than not in July of 2005. You've heard of ShinyBadges.com, but you need to check out the New Causes tab. Every item in that section includes a donation to a worthy Liberty Project, like Shire Sharing. So go to ShinyBadges.com, click on the New Causes tab, and get yourself a quality product that not only supports the cause you believe in, but starts a conversation with your neighbors. Plus, get a free gift when you pay with Bitcoin at ShinyBadges.com. The BBC reports Swiss voters have overwhelmingly rejected a proposal to introduce what would have been the highest minimum wage in the world in a referendum. Under the plan, employers would have had to pay workers a minimum of 22 Swiss francs per hour, or about 25 US dollars. Supporters said the move was necessary for people to live a decent life, but critics argued it would raise production costs and increase unemployment. The minimum wage proposal was rejected by 76% of voters. Supporters had argued it would protect equitable pay, but the Swiss Business Federation said it would harm low-paid workers in particular. The issue was the most prominent of several referendums held on Sunday. A controversial plan to buy 22 Swedish-made Gripen fighter jets for the Swiss Air Force was narrowly rejected by 53% of voters, and 63% of voters backed a plan to impose a lifelong ban 
ban on convicted pedophiles from working with children. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. The Tallahassee Zoo, which faced a major budget crisis. Luckily, they were able to get both, keep guests and animals happy, and stay profitable. And that's thanks to the zoo's new director, Maxwell Jeffries. Happy to be here. Thank Good you. Good morning. Now, what's the most profitable part of the zoo? The elephants, the tigers? No, 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 no. The gift shop, okay? Food court. But now, the entire zoo is the gift shop. So you come to the zoo, you look around, you see something you like, make me an offer. I'm a businessman. I want to make people happy. You're probably familiar with the old saying, don't feed the animals. Oh, right, of course. Okay, well, that's old-fashioned thinking. At our zoo, you can feed the animals. Anything you want? Anything you want. Oats, eggs, batteries, you name it. <laughs> and we also uh, invented a new tiered membership system. So for your standard membership, you go to the zoo, you get to see the animals. Right. For your gold-level membership, you get to pick any two animals, make them fight each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then with a platinum, you get one hour alone in the zoo. No wow. questions asked. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour of the program here to take your calls about whatever's on your mind. It's Ian with you. And Johnny Ray. And you can join us online over at freetalklive.com. Still to come here tonight, Johnny Ray will tell us about the FBI changing their no-pot policy, or at least they're talking about changing it. We'll uh, get details on that. And, of course, your calls are welcome. You can also check in with us via Skype. Contact us by sending a contact request first. If you haven't already done that, send your contact request to username lrn.fm. It will be approved. After it's approved, it'll be easy for you to call in on Skype from that point forward. Now, if you're just tuning in in the last hour, we talked about the idea of defacing the flag. There's a guy who's facing criminal charges in Pennsylvania uh, for having an American flag hung outside of his house on the wall of his uh, one of his wa- walls of the home. Hung with the upside down with the letters AIM spray painted onto it. AIM stands for American Indian Movement. This guy is very upset about you know the way Indians have been treated by the United States government, and he wanted to register that that frustration. And apparently, the local police department decided they were going to confiscate the flag and then arrest him and charge him with a misdemeanor, which led us to another conversation, sort of a wider conversation about flag desecration and you know if. America is supposed to be a free place, then shouldn't you be able to desecrate the flag? Shouldn't you be able to do whatever you want to with the flag? Now, obviously, you know, if you're going to do something like set a flag on fire or hang it upside down or paint on it or whatever, then somebody's going to get upset. And there is a chance that that somebody could decide to either give you a piece of their mind or maybe physically assault you. I mean, there's a good possibility that somebody's going to be so riled up about what it is that you've done that you may face some sort of immediate consequence. And I imagine that's something that prevents a lot of people from engaging in controversial protests simply because they know that the pushback could be very, very uh, difficult to deal with from members of their community. Recent, uh, It wasn't recently, but uh, at some point in the past in New Hampshire, Jesse, Anarcho Jesse, who was a mover, he's no longer living in New Hampshire, but uh, he kind of came here and uh, and he he made some he made a splash uh, for better or for worse. Some people are pretty big critics of Anarcho Jesse and, and some of the activism that he did here. And probably one of his most controversial acts was burning not just the United States flag, but also the UN and the state of New Hampshire flag in Central Square. And while I don't think that's the best kind of activism. I was there to record the, the vi- some of the video of what happened. I was there to, you know, observe. I was curious to see how this would go. And I don't know if you, were you there that day, Johnny Ray? No, I was in town, but I wasn't there for the event. Which is interesting because you were saying in the last hour that you support uh, things like this. I think so. And I think I, I may just not have, know about it. I, I don't remember, but I wouldn't be surprised if I consciously avoided it. Why? Because while supporting it, you consciously avoided it. I may not have supported it then. No, ah. I, th- I think I did. I think I, I think it that I was okay with it, but it I thought that it wouldn't look good, and I didn't want to be associated with it because it was distasteful. 
Okay. So uh, do you feel like your position has changed? Would you still also today, if it were to happen today, would you not want to be associated or would you be there in support? Well, when I think about it, I have kind of a battle going in, going on in my mind because I still have, and I'm okay with it, I have good feelings towards the, the flag. I consider myself an American because of the common experience I have with the rest of America. I grew up here. And and I have things in common with these people, and like I, being forced to pledge to the flag. Sure, yeah. sure. That's that's one of many many things. Some good, some bad, that that brings me closer to these people, and 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 I've always thought the flag was a pretty flag. I, I think the Iranian flag now actually is my favorite, but oh, really? I've I've always liked the American flag, and and I and I so I still have that mystical stuff going on inside of me. That symbolic. Uh, strength of the hmm. American flag that that I en- that that I enjoy. It's just a symbol, and it means to me whatever I want it to mean. I have to say I have no mystical anything surrounding the American flag. It means nothing to me. Um, it doesn't offend me. It's just a piece of cloth, and uh, it's it's this icon that people worship, and they uh, a lot of them claim to worship a god at the same time, but yet they also worship the state, and I think that's kind of contradictory. So, well, I, I think that what Anarcho Jesse did was interesting because he burned three different flags. He burned the UN, the US, and the New Hampshire flag. And I felt like that was a little bit of a different protest for a flag burn. I'd never heard of anything like that happening before. Usually when somebody burns a flag, it's just one flag that they burn. Uh, he burned three, and I thought that it communicated the idea that all state, all levels of the state, are a bad thing. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's if you were there long enough to pay attention to what he was saying and, and what was actually going on. Of course, if you were just driving by, you would have only seen one flag at any given moment uh, being burned. So, again, not probably the best form of protest, but nonetheless a unique one. And so that's why I was there to support it. Let's go to Kevin in Wisconsin. You're on Free Talk Live. Kevin. Hi. Um, is Mark in there tonight? Mark is not here tonight. He is actually doing a fireman's meeting this evening, so he will not be joining us. But uh, how can I help you? Oh, um, well, I wanted to talk about Shade Run Coffee. Sure, go for it. Because uh, I know you guys are promoting Buzzbox Coffee. Yes. And you say that it's Shade Run, and Mark talks about how it helps with acid. But what I think is really interesting about Shade Run Coffee is that it helps for migratory birds. And how's that? Um, well, birds, and I know there, I live in Wisconsin, and birds in Wisconsin, and I know there's birds in New Hampshire that when they fly south for the winter, they fly to where coffee is grown in Central and South America. Hmm. And if they clear cut to plant coffee trees, then the habitat there isn't there for the birds. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. But if so, they shade grown, what's that? Yeah, I see what you're saying. So, if it's, if they're shade grown coffee plantations, then that means there's, trees to provide the shade and therefore the birds have a place to go correct so if you drink shade grown coffee that'll help with the birds where you live in new hampshire and where i live in wisconsin so i thought that would be a good selling point and i was surprised that mark hasn't mentioned that where he talks about shade grown coffee well that's an excellent point and you might want to send him an email on that one because i don't know if he's going to be reviewing the audio of this particular uh, episode but i appreciate you giving us a heads up and kevin anything else you want to share tonight Oh, no, I just said I love the show, and I listen to podcasts. I've been listening for like a year and a half. It's my first time calling. I'm really nervous, but I love the show, and thank you so much. Oh, welcome. I appreciate the call tonight, and thanks for sharing your thoughts. So there you go. You drink BuzzBox coffee, and you can help the birds as well. In fact, BuzzBox is really great coffee. It's shade-grown, as Kevin was pointing out, 100% organic and top 1% grade Arabica. So you can go to coffee.freetalklive.com and try it for yourself with a free pound of the best of the best coffee from BuzzBox. They are, by the way, competitively priced with other high-end coffees, but they do something special at BuzzBox that the other guys just don't do, and that is that they've set up a program that allows people from around the world in tougher places to live to buy into their coffee co-op. Plus, they've teamed up with World Vision to finance microloans for people to get their own businesses started in a third world country. So this is something that where you can actually enjoy delicious coffee and have a portion of the sales go to actually help people around the world. Every 10 listeners of Free Talk Live that sign up at coffee.freetalklive.com, well, first of all, you get that free pound. All you have to do is pay the cost of shipping, and then they'll send it to you. 
and uh, and then you can cancel your subscription at any time. But what what happens is you'll get on an auto ship program, and you can adjust the frequency of the shipments of the coffee that's being sent to you. So you know if you're a, a frequent drinker of coffee, you can make it more more you know more frequent sendings of the coffee. If you don't drink so so much, you can spread it out. Uh, so it's customizable at coffee.freetalklive.com. But every ten listeners that signs up for Buzzbox Coffee. We'll fund one microloan through World Vision to help change lives around the world by giving people in poverty an opportunity to make their own lives better. So, again, go to coffee.freetalklive.com and try BuzzBox. Free pound. All you have to do is pay the shipping cost. So we've been talking about this idea of defacing the flag and uh, you know setting it ablaze and how it should be your right. It's an offensive thing to do, but it should be your right to do offensive things. In public places, which, Johnny Ray, you say you don't even like the idea of public property. No, not at all. And, of course, that would change how this stuff plays out. If a park, in this case our, our keen New Hampshire Central Square, this iconic New England square, if it were privately owned, then the private property owner could set rules about what sort of things were allowed and what aren't. Maybe they would like chalking. Maybe they wouldn't. We can talk more about the war on chalk here. I got the audio track we can play in moments. Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact and helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot freetalklive.com you can listen to free talk live on the radio podcast satellite webcam and our live streams but did you know you can listen to free talk live from any phone anywhere add this number to your phone 213-493-0308 it's a long distance call so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan the listen lines are airing the latest episode of free talk live 24 hours a day including our live shows Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you want to move to the free state and 
and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com while our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up anything you want. Here, toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And joining you in the studio, it's Ian. And Johnny Ray. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting for you. Now, privacy is important in this digital online world. It's more so now important than ever um, because, well, now you know that the government could be spying on you. In fact, there's... Uh, News from Wiki, uh, Wikipedia, WikiLeaks, that uh, they they may be revealing some information that Glenn Greenwald says could lead to deaths, and we'll give you an update on the WikiLeaks situation here in a little bit. Uh, but you know the NSA has the ability to snoop on you, so you could take a few steps to try to prevent that from happening. And Pro XPN could help you. It could help uh, prevent at least the very least your internet service provider because we don't know what kind of tools the NSA has access to. But having encrypted data connection would definitely make it harder for anybody to figure out what you're doing online. And that's what ProXPN does for you. It encrypts your connection. Uh, so meaning that before your data that you're sending out of your computer gets to your internet service provider, it's been encrypted. They can't read it anymore. They can just pass it on. They pass it on. Eventually, it gets to the ProXPN server of your choice. It is then de-encrypted, or, or decrypted, rather, and then it's uh, sent out to its web destination at that point. So you can go to ProXPN.com slash FTL, download their software for Windows, Mac, iOS devices, as well as Android devices. If you're a Linux user, setup's a little bit different for Linux. Just get in touch with their support department. They'll, uh, they'll send you some instructions. But essentially, this protection means that your internet service provider cannot know what you're doing online. They cannot log it. Right now, they're logging every website you visit, every search term you enter, and they may be keeping those logs for up to five years in some cases. So you can stop that from happening by getting Pro XPN. And if the ISP is logging all that information, that means they can just easily hand that over to whatever government agency decides to demand it. So you can protect yourself by encrypting your data through ProXPN, proxpn.com slash FTL. And you can save 20% off the premium account with ProXPN. The code is FTL20 that you'll want to use. Now, you can start for free at ProXPN.com slash FTL. They do have a free trial account where uh, you can you know, you know can use that. It's just it's limited in bandwidth, and you can't select a server that you want to connect to around the world. You can only use one server with a free account. So when you upgrade to premium with code FTL20, you get 20% off for the lifetime of the account. If you buy the annual plan, that brings the price down to $5 per month. That's an amazing cost for the level of privacy protection that you get, unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world, private torrenting ability, and you can get past regionally blocked websites as well. Plus, ProXPN doesn't keep records of your online surfing habits, and there's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. ProXPN.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL20 and get that 20% off for the lifetime of the account. So we're talking about uh, where we were, kind of, talking about the, the war on chalked smiley faces that kicked off over the weekend in earnest here in Keene, New Hampshire, with a couple of members of the local Stop Free Keene organization coming out with brooms and, um, and I guess, jugs. They're filling the jugs up. They're, bro they're uh, brushing away dozens and dozens of smiley faces that had been chalked on Keene's Central Square. They say they're just cleaning up the square and that uh, lots of people don't like the chalked artwork in Central Square, but I suspect their opinion would differ had the smiley faces been chalked by children rather than adult liberty activists. Of course, as it turns out, if you chalk in a Central Square kind of location like this for long enough, 
It's only a matter of time before some children show up and would like to grab some chalk for themselves and join in the fun. Because chalking is fun. It's fun to draw things. Smiley faces are positive. They're happy. And what kind of person could possibly eliminate a smiley face, a chalked smiley face, let alone dozens of them? I've got the audio here from Freekeen.com. Posted this a few days ago. This is the scene as it was on Sunday and Saturday this weekend. Why? In Central Square. Actually, I just realized that uh, I need to jump up here. .com. Here we go. It is Sunday in mid-May, and we're here at Central Square with uh, Rich Paul and some other activists. And there's chalkings going on here today, and apparently there were chalkings going on yesterday as well. Uh, Rich, what happened yesterday? Well, we came out. We came out, and uh, there have been people uh, coming out and destroying my friend Mariah's. Uh, artwork on a, on a daily basis. I hope you're having a good day. I have no idea how to work this day. And what you can hear there is the man with a push broom who is uh, pushing water over top of uh, smiley faces in the square. <laughs> who is the uh, the activist in this case he is uh, just continuing to chalk even after the smileys have been pushed away even after the the, the pavement is wet Garrett then goes and sits in front of the man Whoa. as he is pouring water he's got a jug full of water he's pouring the water out all over the sidewalk and he's kind of walking down the sidewalk doing that so Garrett with his camera goes and sits uh, down while the guy is pouring water, and he pours the water right on top. Oh. Oh my God. Whoa, I got oh, electronics here, man. Sorry, man, didn't see you. you. So. so this guy just <laughs> dumped the water on, on me. That one. You just assaulted somebody, sir. Do you know you just committed a criminal act? Basically, I mean, she's been coming out and doing some beautiful artwork, and Basically, the only reason they don't like it is because she's associated with us at Free Keen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we came out yesterday and we were covering the square in smiley faces. And uh, various uh, Stop Free Keeners uh, came out and basically destroyed what we were working on. And we got the footage of it. So, we're out here again today chalking on the sidewalk. and. You know, trying to get the ideas that are important to us across, and you know, we're we're doing things a little bit differently today. Like, there's a lot more nonconformists. Like, this is kind of an evil face, and over there, there's an alien. Um, over here, there's a monument to the unnecessary rule that, or at least that's my interpretation. I'm so what he's talking about there is uh, James Cleveland, the uh, one of the local activists, had chalked no swimming. It made a, a, a man swimming and then kind of the, the no symbol over top of it. And this was right next to the, the water fountain, which, of course, you couldn't possibly swim in if you tried. There's not enough water in there. There's not even really any room for a person to get into the fountain. So that's what he was saying when he was talking about the monument to the unnecessary rule. Not the artist. But... So, Rich, what do you think about the people who came out here to remove... The smiley faces yesterday. What is what kind of person would do that? Well, I mean, I would, it, it, if they were a child, I would try to redirect them to a productive activity, and so maybe I'd give them some chalk and let them, you know, chalk out their competing ideas, you know, and I would be perfectly happy to publicize their work right along with mine. How come you get first? Amendment speech and I don't. You want chalk? We have chalk for you. This is here. Use it. Use the chalk. I am. That's what I did. I didn't like all the smiley faces, so I put in a. Okay, please use chalk. And I have to say, I think that's the best point that the activists made in this whole presentation, which goes on for another three mi minutes. But you know, I think you've gotten the uh, the impression of of what it was like out there. I think the best point is that you know, get your message out. What is your message? Besides trying to break down, besides trying to destroy ideas, do you actually have a message? Yeah, their message is stop free keen, so they wash away free keen's message. Toll free number tonight is 855-450 free, but they don't have a message of their own. They don't have any original ideas. They have nothing to actually say. It's Free Talk Live. Springtime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know spring is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for spring specials, including our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. 
Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, Hoodia and Metabolic Complex, and ProMetabolic, all on sale now. Also, the Anti-Parasite Intestinal Freedom and Warwood Plus Complex, plus Stevia Liquid Sweetener and the Super Enzymes, all on sale for spring at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and click on Spring Specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Gotblock.org slash pivothead. To ensure that a record of the truth of police interactions exists and is accessible, we each need to film. That's why we're happy to announce the Accountability Through Transparency video contest the winner of which will receive a pair of pivot head sunglasses. For more information and to submit your video entry, go to cutblock.org slash pivot head. One, document with a camera, a police employee exhibiting double standards or the standards we expect them to live up to. This can be done while on foot, during a vehicle stop, while submitting an open records request, etc. Two, upload your video to your YouTube channel. Three, fill out the form at cutblock.org slash pivot head by the deadline of midnight Eastern Standard Time, May 23rd, 2014. Four, the winner chosen by contest sponsors will be notified by email and the Pivot Head sunglasses will be shipped once a mailing address is received. Coplock.org slash Pivot Head. I'm Mark Stevens of the No Stay Project. And are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're only helping the government. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available right now. Learn it, use it, spread it. So get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Tickets are available now at a special early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through Porkfest, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online over at freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features that we share with you there. You can actually go and support Free Talk Live by shopping with us through shop.freetalklive.com. We've got Amazon there, and uh, there's Amazon US, Amazon Canada, there's Amazon UK as well. You just click into the right Amazon for you, and Free Talk Live will get a portion of the purchase price when you get your shopping done through Amazon, through our shopping links at shop.freetalklive.com. Again, that's shop.freetalklive.com. Makes a big difference for us when you do that, so thank you in advance. Last night, we on the show talked about Colorado and the medical, or not medical, but uh, the legalization of cannabis. There was a mention of the medical, but uh, how things have gone so far. It's been 
five, uh, almost five full months at this point. The the numbers are in from the first three months. The statistics are here, and they just seem to keep getting better. February to March, there was it went from like fourteen million dollars in sales to. $19 million in marijuana sales in one month's time. And, uh, of course, crime actually is down slightly, as a matter of fact. So things seem to be just fine in Colorado. And yet on the outside of Colorado, of course, Washington's actually going to start with their legalization this summer, as I understand it. I think July might be the, the deadline for that one. But outside of Colorado, the insanity of the drug war continues in some places, like in Round Rock, Texas, where one man is accused of pot brownie making and possibly facing a life sentence in prison. We can talk about that. So that's kind of the nasty side of things. But then this kind of sea change in marijuana policy changes all around the country. Are, you know, the effects are being felt even in Washington, D.C. And Johnny Ray, you've got a story, uh, maybe a positive story for people that are trying to get jobs with the FBI who might have smoked pot in the past. I have a story, Ian, from the Washington Times by Kelly Riddell. FBI's no marijuana policy may go up in smoke in effort to recruit the best hackers. The FBI says its no tolerance marijuana policy is forcing the agency to turn away its best hacker recruits. I have to hire a great workforce to compete with those cyber criminals, and some of those kids want to smoke weed on the way to the interview. Hmm. FBI Director James Comey told the White Collar Crime Institute on Monday, according to the Wall Street Journal. Cybersecurity is a growing priority for the law enforcement agency. Congress has authorized the FBI to hire 2,000 recruits this year, and the majority of them will be assigned to cyber crimes units. In a roundtable with reporters earlier this month, Mr. Comey reiterated his focus on cyber crimes, saying cyber-related issues are going to dominate his tenure. The FBI is grappling with the question right now of how to amend its marijuana policies, Mr. Comey told the White Collar Crime Institute, an annual conference held at the New York City Bar Association in Manhattan. According to FBI's website, all applicants who have smoked pot within the last three years are excluded wow. from consideration. It's ridiculous. One conference attendee asked Mr. Comey about a friend who didn't apply to the FBI because of the policy. He should go ahead and apply despite the marijuana use, Mr. Comey said, according to the journal. In Mr. Comey's prepared remarks, he said, in recent years, we have changed both our mindset and the way we do business. He added that in the past, the agency has been criticized for working inbox. Now it's trying to look out beyond our inbox to assess what the dangers are, what's being done about them. And given that and our resources, what we should spend time on, he said. So... They're thinking about loosening up their recruiting standards vis-a-vis -vis marijuana. It seems like the uh, the feds are about 20 or 30 years behind the times, as always. Certainly. And I can't say I'm too concerned with the FBI and whether or not they're successfully able to recruit people. Uh, you know, if, if all they were doing was actually going after real criminals who've harmed other people— then I might be a little bit more concerned with uh, with the FBI and more supportive of what it is that they do. Mm -hmm. But considering that uh, at least our experiences with them here in Keene, New Hampshire, has been that they have gone after activist Rich Paul uh, and attempted to turn him against the activist community, tried to get him to wear a watch. They, for those of you who don't know the Rich Paul story, uh, we've had Rich on the show a number a number of times in the past. He's a heroic marijuana civil disobedience activist. And uh, he was selling some cannabis, and the FBI actually got involved in the undercover operations that were trying to bust Rich Paul. And when they arrested him, an FBI agent named Phil Christiana questioned Rich and, and asked him if he would be willing to wear a wire into the Keene Activist Center. So the really interesting, one of the really interesting parts about the Rich Paul saga is that they used a heroin dealer to get to Rich. So the person who was buying the marijuana, the quarter pounds of marijuana from Rich, was a known heroin dealer. He had been busted for selling heroin, who, which obviously is a more dangerous, scary, awful, destructive kind of chemical than cannabis. But yet they let this guy go. They gave know. him a break so yeah. in, in exchange for, for his help in, in, in busting nabbing Rich, Rich, who was a pot dealer. And it's just like one of the most bizarre stories. The reason suggested for that was because to them, 
It was worth it to let a heroin dealer get back out into the community if they had a chance at getting into the Keen Activist Center. Because that was what it was really all about. It wasn't about stopping Rich Paul from selling pot. It was about trying to leverage Rich into turning into a state's witness or whatever. I mean, I don't know what they they were expecting to find. If, if they did get a, uh, some, some, some person with a bug or whatever into the Keen Activist Center... They're not going to find anybody plotting any violence, and I suspect that's what they were looking for because at the same time this was all happening was the same time Chris Cantwell was in town. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't know, Chris Cantwell is a controversial character within the liberty movement. He is an angry man who I happen to like personally. But he's angry, and I can get, I can understand that. I can relate to it. I used to also harbor similar feelings as as Chris. But he was in town at that time and was hanging out at the Keen Activist Center. So Chris Cantwell gets on video blogs on YouTube and now on his blog at ChristopherCantwell.com. And he kind of seems to suggest people use violence in defense against state aggression. And I don't support that particular message. I don't think anybody at the Keen Activist Center supports that message, which is one of the reasons why Chris was actually banned from the Keen Activist Center. Ultimately, but I don't think he had been banned at the time at which Rich Paul was arrested. Okay. So what you had was this guy come into Keene with this violent rhetoric, and he's talking about violence on YouTube, and you know the the FBI probably knew about him when he was in New York, and then he comes up to Keene, New Hampshire, and he starts hanging out at the Keene Activist Center. So I think that was one of their goals was to get somebody in there to hear what was being said because these guys are I think they believe that people are like them. You know, that people are, are likely to use violence because that's what they do. Right. You know, projecting uh -huh. themselves onto others. So they had all these suspicions. Rich Paul, of course, is a hero and he refused to wear the bug. He refused to wear the wire. Instead, he faced down a possible hundred years in prison as a result of selling these uh, th this plant. Ultimately ended up going to jail for about nine months in that case. He was sentenced to a year in county jail, two-thirds good time rule. He was out after about nine months. So that's been my experience with the FBI. Not a real positive uh, experience. In fact, one of the more bizarre parts of the story was this this FBI agent who was heading up this investigation is part of the Joint Terrorism Task Force in New Hampshire. He's a bomb squad guy. So curiously, during I think it was during Rich Paul's trial was when the Boston bombing happened. So what you ended up having was this FBI agent was spending all these hours and all this time trying to bust Rich Paul when at the same time you actually had people who were committing violence against others out there bombing people at the Boston Marathon. And his turf, he's a Boston guy. And he, well, he works out of the Bedford, New Hampshire office, which is sort of the regional Boston area. It's more close to Manchester than, than anything else. But it was really telling that, hmm, okay, this is their priority. They're going to send a bomb guy to bust a pot dealer so they can get into the Keene Activist Center, a peaceful place, whereas you've actually got people bombing on the streets and this guy's sitting in court trying to, to uh, bring a pot dealer down to his knees. 855 450 free. So I can't say I'm a big supporter of the FBI. We're coming up here in moments. You can take control on Free Talk Live. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. Gentlemen, in search of a million dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. 
My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com I'm a very bad man. And today I watched you leave for work. Then I kicked your door and took your stuff. Without a door devil reinforcing your door frame, it was like you invited me. Don't worry, I'll check back in a couple weeks. Once you've got new stuff. <laughs> door devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths. Or visit doordevil.com. Thomas the Tank Engine says he's a little uneasy with his broad autistic following, and a couple has a nest egg of debt to make sure they've got some money to owe down the road. This is the Onion Week in Review. Local video editor James Korf told reporters Wednesday that despite having said goodbye over 10 minutes ago, his friend, Michael Woodward, still remained active on Gchat and had shown no signs of leaving. If it were yellow, it would mean that he hasn't been on the computer for a little while, or if it was red, it would mean he doesn't want to talk, but it's green. I can tell. I can see it right there. Korf later said that he felt brief relieved when Woodward's chat logo turned orange, but was once again dejected when it became green within seconds. And in this week's op-ed pages, a high school guidance counselor laments the fact that no one in his entire damn school has been molested. In other news, a bed bug feels bad for an area man, but a bug's gotta eat. A development exec wants to see what, where, and how that would look, live, and play out. And a man at the gym is just watching TV. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and we invite you to take control of the airwaves here toll-free and bring up whatever's on your mind. 855-450-FREE is the Pro XPN toll-free line. That's 855-450-3733. We have Skype. You can Skype into the show. Username here is lrn.fm. Feel free to reach out in the way that is most simple and effective for you. Joining you tonight... It's Ian. And Johnny Ray. And don't forget, you can join us online over at freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live is brought to you by Keenvention. Coming this fall, October 31st through November 2nd, join us here in Keen for Keenvention. Johnny Ray, you were one of the presenters at Keenvention last year, having hosted the Old School panel. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was the thrust of the Old School panel that you had hosted? How things had changed. It was a. Uh, it was old school. It was a mix of old school and natives. So people who've been here a while. Right. And and the I wanted to ask the folks there how how things had changed since since you know the free staters started moving in. And I don't really remember their answers. That's okay, Johnny Ray. I recorded the entire thing, and anybody who either doesn't remember. Uh, the experience, or would like to see the the whole panel, you can go to keenvention.info and you can actually watch every single panel discussion, every single speech that was had over the entire weekend in 2013. So you can literally see the entire thing for free. You don't have to pay for a ticket. You can watch it later on. 
Um, but this year, tickets are only 40 bucks. So if you want to come to Keenvention this year, we were just talking about Rich Paul's story a moment ago. And Rich has graciously agreed to be one of the keynote speech uh, speech presenters this year at Keenvention 2014. So you'll get to see and meet Rich if you haven't yet done so. It's a great opportunity because one of the things that makes Keenvention a really special event, and last year was the first year, by the way, so this is the second annual Keenvention this fall. Uh, but the thing that makes Keenvention a really special event is its intimacy, I think, is the fact that it's not a big event. This mm-hmm. is not Porkfest. Porkfest is a huge event. You couldn't meet everyone at Porkfest. There's 1,500 people there. Keenvention, we had about 100, and that's doable. At any moment, there was really more like 40 to 60, so it was over the whole weekend that we had 100 people. But our peak, you know, I was counting during each of the, the events to see how many people were there at any given moment. And it was usually no more than 50 to 60 people. 60, I think, was about the peak, 63 or something like that. So that's something where you can actually get to meet everybody that's at the event. You can actually kind of connect with people, I think, in a different way than you would at an event like a Liberty Forum, which has hundreds of people attending it. You know, would I like to see Keenvention be as big as those other events? No, I don't think I would. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting that. No. Wasn't expecting you to say that. What, you thought I wanted to grow to with like a thousand people? Yeah, it just seemed natural. Do, do I want it to get that big? Yes, I do. I would no. like for one day for it to be huge. No, no. I think that I think that would ruin the flavor of uh, of Keenvention. And besides that, we'd have to have it outside of Keen if it were going to be that big because there's nowhere there's nowhere that could hold that many people. The hotels in Keen aren't designed to be that you know large. It really was a, a warm and cozy affair. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So you can go to Keenvention.info. You can again, you can watch all of the uh, the panel discussions from last year. Just click the video link and uh, that'll pull them all up. So that's all there. It's all free. Keenvention is taking uh, early bird registrations right now. Again, it's October 31st through November 2nd. Rich Paul announced as the keynote speaker. Mark Edge uh, is going to be the news media panel host. So some of our panels, the themes or, or you know topics are coming back from last year. We're also going to do a few new uh, topics as well and maybe bring in uh, new panel hosts uh, so like I said let, uh, Mark is going to host our very own Mark Edge who's not here tonight is going to be hosting the news media panel last year it was Dave Ridley from RidleyReport.com so you bring a new host in it'll kind of change how things play out and also uh, Brian Sovereign is coming back to re-host the tech panel uh, this year so those are the announcements that have been made thus far if you stay tuned over at Keenvention.info you'll learn more about it as things go on there's of course the Keenvention Facebook page which you can follow and again you can get registered for Keenvention for 40 bucks or the Bitcoin equivalent of $40 in advance and you've got through Porkfest you've got about another six weeks to get registered for Keenvention 2014 uh, before the prices go up prices will go up after Porkfest they won't go up much but they'll go up a little bit so go to uh, Keenvention.info and we'll look forward to seeing you there so 855 450 free. We were talking about how the FBI, Johnny Ray, you brought in a story about how the FBI is talking about completely eliminating their no pot policy. Right now it's a three year time frame. If you've smoked pot within three years of your application for working for the FBI, you will not be considered. You're rejected. But they're talking about changing that because turns out when they want to hire a computer hacker, for instance, to hack for the government. Uh, they're having a tough time finding people because they're all a bunch of pot users, apparently. Yeah. The director of the FBI was at a conference, and he basically said that we're turning away some of our best recruits. Some of the some people who can help us catch cyber criminals are we're invalidating them and we're not accepting them, and our workforce is weaker because of that. So we need to think about this. Which is a real indicator that the lies that have been told, and I'm sure the FBI has been involved in telling these lies about marijuana users and the lie is that marijuana makes you into a shiftless lazy loser who is incapable of running his or her own life and being successful i mean that's kind of one of the standard misinformation uh, pieces that's put out there by the drug war propagandists yeah it's a convenient lie because for most of american history Marijuana was not a popular drug for Americans. It it certainly is now, but it wasn't for, for so long. Alcohol was king. Mm-hmm. And so it was easy to demonize people who weren't drinking alcohol but were getting high instead. And that's what you get with democracies is that the min- minorities are demonized regardless of what kind of safeguards you try to put in. When when the, the masses, the majority rules, then the minority 
they suffer. But now this minority is larger probably than it's than it's been in the past. There are a lot of people who've smoked marijuana. Maybe they don't currently smoke cannabis, but they at some point in their life, I think it's uh, like 50% of parents. I know that it's not everybody, but it's a lot of people uh, who have smoked cannabis at some point. And there are, of course, millions of people who are relatively regular users, whether it's a daily or weekend warrior or whatever, they're using it on a regular basis. And so for the FBI to have to admit this is a real indicator that, hmm, we're admitting that marijuana users are actually valuable, that marijuana users have skills, and not only do they have skills, but they have skills we want in the FBI. So... That's, to me, just a, a real rebuttal to the things that the people in the DEA are constantly putting out. In fact, there was actually another article that I saw, and I didn't put it in my show prep just because it seemed too political. But just to summarize it for you, there was an article published a few days ago about how the Attorney General Eric Holder has taken the DEA head, Michelle Leonhardt, to task because after Barack Obama came out and sort of verbally supported marijuana decrim or legalization or something he he came out in an interview with the new yorker magazine and, and basically took the side of marijuana i mean i don't know how else to put it he he changed his tune completely he admitted that marijuana wasn't as dangerous as alcohol basically and was somewhat honest about this particular topic in this interview and it was after that that the head of the dea michelle leonhardt she gets out there and she starts pounding the pulpit about how bad marijuana is and it's as bad as heroin and, you know, this and that, all this nonsense, just trotting out all the old lies about pot. Apparently, she was rebuked to some extent within the last few weeks by the attorney general, who is technically her boss, right? So attorney general is the top cop in the United States. The DEA is beneath that person. So she got a chewing out by this attorney general's office, and I don't know the the word the reports of this uh, the reports were that she has changed her tune a little bit, so it wasn't like a huge big like shift for the DEA. Like now, all of a sudden, the DEA supports pot. That's not the case, but supposedly behind the scenes there have been some rumblings, and now here you have the FBI coming out and saying that you know they're looking at changing their policy. So to me, that's a I don't know if it's quite a mea culpa. But it's a little bit. Of, I think it's a little bit of crow eating there. Sure, sure it is. Uh, it it strikes me. It smacks of of politicians desperately trying to get back out in front of the parade. You know, the the American people, to for the most part. In this do, case, these these are bureaucrats, not politicians. Yes, the the state shall I say jumping back out in in front of the parade that's that's the only that's the best thing they can hope for because they can't innovate or create they just have to try and 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 see which way the wind's blowing and be in the right place you know and be correct at the right time about the right thing so so they're wrong they've been wrong for so long the evidence is overwhelming that Americans want pot to be legal so now they're going to try and and get 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 out ahead of that unfortunately they haven't been paying attention in texas where a man is looking at life in prison for pot brownies we'll tell you more about that story coming up here in moments 855 450 free that's 855-450-3733 johnny ray's game of the week coming up as well free talk live what if humans found a habitable planet, set up housekeeping, and then got left alone by Earth and its big government? Will that happen in Freehold, Michael Z. Williamson's seminal work? Now available for the first time in a signed, limited hardback edition. Other books in the series are also available in paperback. I cannot recommend a modern fiction work more highly than Freehold. Earth might have left Freehold alone, but it doesn't stay that way. It's war. Get your copy right now at all major booksellers and shop.freetalklive.com. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Are you looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear? ManVentureOutpost.com carries the name brands you want at the lowest prices. 
ammunition, knives, firearm accessories, archery, air guns, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, and boating equipment. ManVentureOutpost.com is family owned and has the lowest prices. Go check it for yourself. Get it quick. Get it from ManVentureOutpost.com. Now buy firearms at ManVentureOutpost.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. You're listening to the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. This is Justin Armand. And this is Jessica Armand. Here with your Liberty Beat for May 20th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,295, silver at $19.37, and Bitcoin is trading at $459. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Accountable Authority, now offering a public database of police abuse and misconduct. Take action now and join for free to gain community support and protection online at accountableauthority.com. And from Roberts and Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. They don't feed the banks by taking credit cards, but you can bet they take Bitcoin. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800-874-9760. And now the news. Campaign for Liberty, an organization focused on restoring freedom in America, is leading the fight against red light cameras in both Texas and other regions. On Wednesday, May 21st, at 6.30 p.m., that's tomorrow, the campaign state coordinator Byron Schirmbeck will be holding an event to organize and rally activists in the upcoming fight against red light cameras in Williamson County. Red light camera opponents say they infringe on civil liberties by intruding into the lives of citizens while generating new sources of revenue without resorting to taxation. On Wednesday, activists will discuss strategies for the upcoming campaign. The event will be held at Denny's in Round Rock. Stay up to date by liking Campaign for Liberty on Facebook. Remember, that's Denny's in Round Rock. The United States Supreme Court will hear an appeal from the Obama administration regarding whether federal government employees have the right to whistleblow about government misconduct. The appeal deals with the case of former TSA Air Marshal Robert McLean, who spoke out against the Department of Homeland Security in 2003. McLean disclosed that the DHS had issued a private warning to all air marshals regarding an imminent terrorist threat right before cutting resources and removing air marshals from long-distance flights. After being ignored by his superiors, McLean went to the media to tell his story. By September 2005, he had been fired. The Department of Justice is now seeking to overturn a court ruling that affirmed McLean's right to whistleblow. Monday, the Justice Department filed criminal charges against five hackers in the Chinese military, accusing them of economic espionage. Each hacker was hit with 31 criminal counts for conspiracy. American companies allegedly affected include Westinghouse Electric, U.S. subsidiaries of Solar World AG, U.S. Steel, Allegheny Technologies, and Alcoa. Some of the alleged crimes were committed up to eight years ago. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks. Check out their new website at centraltexasgunworks.com, where you can conveniently purchase firearms from a variety of distributors and pick them up in the store. And from Cabo Bob's, now with two locations in Austin, at 500 East Ben White Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande Boulevard. You've been listening to the Liberty Beat for May 20th, 2014. Be sure to check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Saturday, May 24th, food activists will take to the streets for the third global march against Monsanto. As nations around the globe launch efforts to label or ban genetically modified crops, March Against Monsanto hopes to raise awareness on GM technology and the biotech companies behind the products, including Monsanto. Do a quick internet search for March Against Monsanto for more details. 
Three citizens in Merced, California, who spoke up in a public forum during three board meetings criticizing county supervisors and the sheriff's department, subsequently had profiles built on them by law enforcement. A memo obtained by the Merced Star Sun revealed that detailed information regarding the three individuals was sent out to county supervisors. One of the citizens, Mr. Spencer, raised concerns about the police parking in no parking zones. Instead of receiving a resolution, he was investigated by county officials and the police. Spencer said he's furious that his background was researched and called the move an attempt to control and intimidate the public. The Merced County Sheriff's Department said the investigation was warranted because each of the individuals had filed claims against them or the county and added that the memo was intended for private communications with county supervisors. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines you can grow or easily find. Learn more at GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. You've been listening to the Liberty Beat. Shoppers at a Hannaford supermarket could only speculate that the middle-aged woman angrily demanding a price check on a pack of rice pudding was once a carefree youth. I don't care what it says on your screen. You know, this is why people go to the store across the street, because of the way they're treated here. You know, nobody likes it here. Those watching the woman angrily asking for a manager over a $1.20 price difference imagined that the woman was once a fresh-faced college graduate, too spirited and fun-loving to throw a bitter tantrum in front of a room of complete strangers. She was probably once just some freewheeling college kid, you know? Her biggest concern was which one of her friends she was going to hang out with at night and whether they were going to meet at the movies or a bonfire on the beach. Now look at her. You know, I'll bet if you'd have told her 10 or 15 years ago that one day she'd be ripping into a grocery store clerk with a room full of strangers staring at her, she'd have been horrified. It's sad. In other news, a few years in the military would have really straightened out a troubled teen killed in Afghanistan, and a man on the verge of self-realization instead turns to God. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Take control of the airwaves here toll-free as we launch into our number three. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. You can Skype into the show. Username there is lrn.fm, so feel free to reach out that way if you prefer. In fact, I say that I prefer because Skype generally sounds better than your standard phone call. So, Get in touch with us in the way that you want, as we will continue with your calls and thoughts here. 855-450 free. Coming up, Johnny Ray's Game of the Week, as well as an update from the world of WikiLeaks. We haven't talked about WikiLeaks in quite a while here on Free Talk Live, and there's some news about them where they're planning on releasing information that Glenn Greenwald is saying could lead to deaths. Uh, the story coming here from Business Insider and also Texas. There's a 19-year-old who's now facing possible life sentence in prison for having pot brownies. So while Colorado, Washington, and many other places are going in the right direction with ending at least a portion of the war on drugs, Texas is going on full speed ahead. And we'll give you that story coming up here in a moment. First, Jimmy is on the line in Tucson. You're on Free Talk Live, Jimmy. Hey, yeah. Hi, this is Jimmy. Hi, how y'all doing? Good. Hey, Jimmy, what's on your mind tonight? I got good news and I got bad news. Let's have the bad news first. <laughs> Wit will not be the best man at my wedding. That is tragic. I'm telling you, it's irritating. Oh, what and happened I'm there, upset. Jimmy? What? Well, what happened there? How did how did that end up happening? Well, I think he's upset with me because he's saying that I was being mean to him when I called y'all. Mm-hmm. But it, I don't get it. You know, he was a good buddy. That's too but, bad. Uh, you know, it's it's hard sometimes. Uh, people change. They they you know they go in different directions as they mature, or in some cases, not so much. What's the good news? Uh, Milford said yes. Who's that? We're getting married. Oh, Let this my girlfriend. Milford. Milford. Milfred, okay. You don't, you know, there aren't too many girls named Mil Milfred uh, these days. They ain't. They well, so we were sitting down watching RoboCop three, drinking us some Keystone Light. 
There's no such thing, her. though, right? There is no RoboCop. Yeah, dude, you didn't know that? Oh, oh right. I forgot I'm about... Back in the 90s. I, I forgot about the old sequel. I thought the yeah. new one that came out was just two, but no, okay, it's three. The new, wait, no, the new one's RoboCop. All right. They but, redid, yeah. they rebooted, as they call it in Hollywood. All right, so you sit, you're kicking back, you're watching uh, the worst RoboCop of all of the RoboCops, and you got Keystone Light. Go ahead. Yeah, and I just looked over her, and now, Milford, she looks kind of like uh, Marilyn Monroe, but ugly and about 200 pounds heavier. And, you know, and I'm like, man, I am just in love with this woman. We got us a couple kids, you know. She's great. And I said, hey, why not? What's we'll tie the knot? And that's when I called it. And he said no. And I was just upset. I don't know what to do. What do y'all think I should do? You well, should consider Wit's words, weigh them by their merits, and then, you know, consider Milfred. M- 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 Am I saying that right? Milfred, yeah, I think so. You're right. You're right. And. Well, he, he said, he said, look, you can show me a picture with two donkeys jumping on a trampoline, but that don't mean that I'm going to be your best man. And I'm like, well, what the hell? Well, yeah, well, as far as what you should do about it, um, you know, Wit's not a particularly friendly guy, and it's probably for the better for your wedding that he's not going to uh, to be there. Or maybe he will come just as a guest, just not. Maybe he doesn't want to be uh, the best man in the wedding. Either way, I would say you'd want to stick with the lady that's going to sit down and watch uh, RoboCop 3 with you. I don't think Wit's going to well, do that for you. Yeah, but you don't have to get I married, Ian, that. do you? You, no. you guys just made me feel a lot better. Well, there you go, Jimmy. Thanks for the call tonight. You know, that's what we're here for. I appreciate hearing from you. 855 450 free. What were you saying there, Johnny Ray? Marriage. It's a, kind of a scary prospect. I've never been it is. married. Um, I. Could you see yourself as a, as a groom? Yeah. For the I right could... lady? The right lady came along? It, I Yeah. I could imagine some woman making me the happiest man in the world. Mm-hmm. I can imagine it in my dreams, but I see in the real world that marriage is so often don't last yeah and They're scary yeah and then and the the legal obligations and so forth that you get into with your wife and with the state make marriage difficult to get out of yeah i can't say that i'm a i'm a big fan of the institution myself if i, if I was going to get if i if i fell in love and i was going to get married i would do a a stateless thing i wanted to have a mm-hmm. ceremony and everything and all my friends you can have that you can have the dedication of yourself to your wife and you don't have to bring the state of north carolina into it or the state of arizona or the state of new hampshire yeah. what have you i totally agree i think that's the most sensible way to do things and uh and why would you want the state involved as you pointed out when you if if it comes to a divorce and i'm sorry you know, realistically, it could come to divorce. I know everybody's relationship is perfect before they get into the marriage together, and that's why you're getting married, right? Because you're just head over heels for this individual, and you think that it's going to last forever. Of course, I'm sure a lot of people think that when they go into a marriage, and then turns out it's over a year later, or two years, or five years, or whatever. I don't know what the average amount of time is between a, uh, a marriage and a divorce, but... They seem relatively common. Um, it seems like you know you go through this big process of getting this wedding, which of course costs a lot of money. Uh, I just couldn't see justifying spending all that money on one day's affairs when you know that that could be. I mean, some people will spend ten thousand dollars easy on a wedding. That's that's a good chunk of a down payment on a home. I mean, you want to talk about having a healthy marriage? If you don't have to worry about bills to pay, that might help your marriage. Right? Yeah, like, money is the number one reason people get divorced. Right. So why would you want to sink ten thousand dollars into a wedding? I could understand if you have ten million dollars, then sinking ten thousand dollars into a wedding is no big deal, right? But I don't think the average couple who gets married is really able to do that. Now I understand a lot of times it's uh, the the moms moms and dads that'll foot the bill. But regardless, look, hey mom, if you're gonna give me ten thousand dollars here because I love somebody, then how about you just cut me the check? We'll have a small wedding and, you know, invite family and go someplace nice. You know, go out and, I don't know, there's plenty of places you can get married that don't cost you anything. I mean, go on the beach or in the, the a park somewhere or whatever. It's, I, I don't get it. I really just, uh, to me, the, the whole institution seems really traditional and really in a lot of ways very, very silly. And as you pointed out, you know, it could come to an end. Uh, very quickly. So why bother with it?
Well, do people get tax breaks? Don't don't you get tax? I guess there is some kind of tax thing. I don't know because I don't pay federal income tax, so mm-hmm. I don't know what all those rules are. And to me, I don't care. I mean, even if I were a taxpayer, I don't think I would be interested in marriage because then you're just involving the government ever more in your own life. Let's go with Wit on the line in Arizona. Wit, you're on Free Talk Live. My Whit. friends call me that. Minister, don't call me that. Oh, That's you know what? The board operator you. put in that name, so I apologize. That's what I saw there. Go ahead, James. Thank you, Minister. Uh, I was thinking about the irony of Carlos bringing up the Crusades after he wanted to slam me after you dumped my call. And I've been thinking about why would he bring up the Crusades, seeing that we're coming up on the thousand-year anniversary of the first one, by the way. So I don't know what I had to do with it nor how I should have to answer for it. In Honestly, any, James, I have no command. idea what you're talking about. You're talking about something that happened Carlos. last night uh, on yeah. the show, and I don't even remember it happening. So if you want to know about what Carlos said, well, then, then maybe I you should ask him. What you said right after that, I wanted to liken it to the irony of something you said right after that about the bombings of Hiroshima. The irony. May I speak to it, Ian? Here you are. Go ahead. Okay, I'm not sure that you dumped my call yet, but the thing is that he thinks of that because you said something about me being a supposed I claim to be a good Christian, a good Christian. I never made that claim on your show ever, but you keep on repeating that. Oh, claim. so are you not a good Christian? I'm a sinner, but I would like to finish my thought on the other side of the end. Nah. Uh, See you later. 855-450 free. That's the toll-free number. You can take control of the airwaves and bring up anything that you want. But please Don't continue harping on the past. Let's talk about things that are new, things that are exciting and interesting, not what happened yesterday, because some of the people listening today weren't tuned in for that. Uh, James, more coming up on Free Talk Live. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Summer is almost here, which means it's time to get out and play. And at the Guitar Center Memorial Day Sale, you'll find some of our lowest prices of the year on the best gear throughout the store. And with deals like your choice of two guitar stands or wall hooks for $10, or two pairs of Vader drumsticks for $5, or three sets of Ernie Ball electric guitar strings for $10, the only question is, where will you play? Guitar Center's Memorial Day Sale, now through Monday, in-store and online. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. 
See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. MindThings.com is a fun online game that pits you against people around the world to mine for scarce resources. Do business in a capitalist economy with virtually mined gold, tax-free. It doesn't require a big-time commitment. Your little mining robot guy works whether you're logged in or not. It costs nothing to play, but you can buy bonuses. They even accept bitcoins. Go to MindThings.com, use coupon code FTL, and double your mining speed. It's free. MindThings.com. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Take control here. Toll free. 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. And enjoy the features on the site. We've got a mobile site. For those of you with a smartphone, you can go to m, like mobile.freetalklive.com and get us tuned in over there. Cashintocoins.com, that is the way, the best way, in my opinion, for you to turn your cash into bitcoins. Johnny Ray, you have been somebody who's advocated in the past a 10% plan, which I thought was really smart, uh, where every paycheck you go and you get some bitcoins and you put them away. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was a really smart idea. You can use cash into coins to make that easy because they'll take money order, check, or wire transfer. It's safe, it's easy, it's fast, legal, inexpensive, and customer service is their top priority. So if you've been thinking about getting Bitcoins, you do need to have a Bitcoin wallet first. You can go and grab one of those for free over at blockchain.info. Once you've got your Bitcoin wallet all set up, just go to cashintocoins.com, follow the instructions. If you, by the way, purchase less than $40 worth of Bitcoins, there's no transaction fee. There's no conversion fee. So you actually literally get exactly what you pay for there. If you go over 40 bucks, there's a small fee. It's very, very reasonable. I think last time I looked, it was 3%. Very competitive. Cashintocoins.com. They can help you out however many Bitcoins you're looking to buy. Hey, what happens if you put something in the mail and you don't put your return address on it? Will it still get to its intended recipient? Yes, as I understand it. Good, I hope so, because I sent uh, a cashier's check to Cash Into Coins recently. Okay. For for make purchase of Bitcoin, and um, I certainly wouldn't want that uh, that that check to get lost in the mail. Were you was the reason why you didn't put a return address on because you wanted to be more anonymous somehow? No, it was that I just slipped my, my just mind. Just an oversight. Yeah. You should be all right. I mean, generally, the reason, as I understand it, for a return address is just so in case there's an error, in case there's a mis misdelivery or something like that, that it can bounce back to you. Okay. So, cashintocoins.com. As we continue here, as I mentioned, uh, not every place is as progressive towards more uh, drug freedom as Colorado and Washington or some of the medical marijuana states. You still have states like Texas out there. In this case, the story's from RT.com. It's actually being reported in a lot of places. But a pound and a half of pot brownies might lead a 19-year-old Texas man to a life sentence in prison. Jacob Lavoro is being charged with possession of marijuana, possession of illegal hashish or hash oil, and the sale of hash-infused cookies and brownies. Lavoro is being charged with a first-degree felony for using hash oil to bake his magic brownies. Hash oil is considered the most potent form of cannabis, as it may contain more than 60% tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, according to the United Nations World Drug Report in 2009. Under Texas law, possession, as is the manufacturing and delivering of hash oil, is felony, while possession of marijuana is a misdemeanor in the state. Quote, the state of Texas penalizes the possession, manufacture, and distribution of this concentrated THC oil differently than it does the possession of unprocessed raw marijuana leaf. This is according to 1st District uh, Assistant District Attorney Mark Bruner. 
explaining in a statement to KEYE-TV. Quote, under Texas law, this higher potency hash oil is classified in the Controlled Substances Act as a penalty to or penalty group to substance. The degree of potential punishment for possession of distribution of a controlled substance is linked to the weight of the substance found, including any adulterants or dilutants. So they didn't have a pound and a half of hash oil. It was a pound and a half of brownies. So the majority of the weight in that case is going to be the brownies. Flour and yeah. the flour and the mixture and the eggs and whatever else it is you, you put in there. So, But because the hash oil was used in the brownies, all the other ingredients are considered to be adulterants or dilutants. So the ha- the uh, the sugar and the the uh, the flour, all of these things are adulterating the hash oil from the perspective of the state. They're diluting it. Since the aggregate weight of the brownies was 1.5 pounds, he can be charged with manufacturing and distribution of one and a half pounds of a penalty group two controlled substance. So it's as though he were selling a pound and a half of hash oil. Of hash oil. Williamson County Prosecutor Travis McDonald told the Associated Press. That he used cocaine as another example. Quote, if you dissolve cocaine into a soda, technically you could charge him with the weight of the soda, said McDonald. However, he added, I don't think I would. So this isn't the guy who's charging him in this case. It's just another uh, prosecutor who's commenting. Along with the THC-laced baked goods, Round Rock police officers found a pound of marijuana, digital scales, $1,675 in cash, and dozens of baggies with marijuana and hash oil. Police were responding to a complaint about marijuana use at the time. So I have to wonder, you know, how exactly did they find this? Did this guy let them in to his home? Because if somebody just complains about someone smoking pot, you know, if it's one of your neighbors calling on you for smoking pot outside of your house or something like that, and the police show up, I don't think that the say-so of a neighbor is enough probable cause to gain entry to someone's home. Maybe the police could use the claim that I smell marijuana from coming inside or coming from inside. And so therefore that would give them the excuse to come inside. I'm going to have to ask you to let me in. They could use uh, an an approach like that, which is a kind of an intimidation tactic that they use to get people to consent to a search. Whereas otherwise the police would not have had the legal ability to do so. Possession of a pound of pot in Texas is also a felony but only carries a sentence of 180 days to two years in prison, as well as a maximum fine of $10,000, according to the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws, or NORML, an organization that does what I just said it does. Possession of the smallest amount of marijuana is a misdemeanor. Possession of the tiniest amount of hash, even a gram, is a state felony, according to the legal counsel for Texas NORML. He thinks the potential life sentence is too much. It's higher than the punishment range for sexual assault, higher than the punishment range for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. It's kind of crazy. This case is the perfect example of the insanity of Texas's drug laws, said the normal representative, especially when it comes to marijuana or anything where the active ingredient is THC. Lavoro's attorney, Jack Holmes, agreed, saying, I've been doing this for 22 years as a lawyer, and I've got 10 years as a police officer, and I've never seen anything like this before. They've weighed baked goods in this case. It ought to be a misdemeanor. McDonald noted that sentences can be ver- uh, can vary depending on aggravating factors as, uh, and other considerations, and that a plea deal is always possible. First-time offenders are treated differently, and as far as I know, he said he is a first-time offender. The former high school football player has a clean record. He's currently out of jail on a $30,000 bond. Okay, so we're we're hoping that, uh, that saner minds will prevail and he won't spend the rest of his life in jail, but that is a possibility. Yeah, he's looking at uh, life in prison for some pop brownies. Hash brownies, because that's worse, supposedly. What do you think, Johnny Ray? It's the myth of the rule of law, or that's what it reminds me of. What do you mean by that? Well, I'll, I'll try and put it together co- co- cogently or coherently. The, 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 supposedly, we've got the rule of law in America, and thankfully, we don't. We have the rule of men. We have men who interpret the law and then, and then prosecute based on their interpretations of the law. Why is that a good thing? I mean, some would argue that if it were actually the rule of law, then the men— who enforce the rule of law, would also have to follow the law. 
Which in this case would land this guy in jail for life if they're following the letter of the law because he's got pounds of adulterated hash oil. Well, I mean, there's sentencing guidelines, right? It's not a minimum sentence of life. It's That's just a possibility. I mean, our friend Rich Paul was looking it up to 100 years in prison uh-huh. for selling pot, but he only got a year. Okay. So we'll come back with more, though. I want to hear more from you about the rule of law, and your thoughts are welcome here as well. It's Free Talk Live. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't tread on meme, M E M E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value. And they look neat, too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy-to-use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at don'ttreadonmeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't tread on meme your path to a voluntary society with honest money. Don't tread on meme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm.
This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. Just dial on in toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight, Ian here. And Johnny Ray. We've got Skype. The Skype username is lrn.fm. You can join us over there if you prefer. And we're talking about the war on drugs, specifically the war on cannabis, and in this case, hash oil, which uh, Texas is pretty serious about. They are charging a young man, 19 years old, with a felony. Uh, also some misdemeanor charges as well for possession of marijuana. But what they're really mad about is that he made brownies with hash oil. And so because of the way the law is written in Texas, they can charge this guy based on the weight of the brownies. So having nothing to do with the amount of hash oil that was originally used to make the brownies, if the brownies are a pound and a half, it's like having a pound and a half of hash oil. So he's now facing felony charges. Actually, they say here even if he'd had a thimbles full of hash oil, it would be a felony charge in the state of Texas. So he's looking at a, at a long time in prison. And Johnny Ray, uh, you had some comments about the rule of law, and I want to come back uh, to that discussion here. But I also want to remind listeners who are just tuning in uh, about the door devil. We mentioned it earlier in the show tonight. This is a way for you to more permanently reinforce your front door or your back door, whatever door you want to reinforce by more than one, if you've got more than one door that you want to reinforce, because the door devil will help prevent kick-ins of the door, which is a very important thing to do uh, because... Burglars are likely to target your front door. They know that alarm systems give you time when you go through the front door to shut the alarm system off, which would give them, if they get through the front door, a minute or two to just grab whatever they want and get out before the alarm even trips. So showing up your front door is a very important thing to do, and you can do it for about 60 bucks with the Door Devil. Go to DoorDevil.com. It's an effective deterrent. That's DoorDevil.com. So, Johnny Ray, tell me more about what you were saying. We didn't have much time before we had to run into that break there about the rule of law. We were talking about this crazy Texas law that's uh, putting this young man in jeopardy of spending the rest of his life in prison for having hash brownies. And what were you saying about how this brings up that issue for you, the rule of law versus the rule of man? Okay, it— this past week, I read an article by John Hasness. It was written in 1995 called The Myth of the Rule of Law. So I'm lifting all this from Mr. Hasness, although these are ideas that I have had myself. In the U.S., we have this idea that the law is uh, neutral and it's, uh, it's determinate. So that if you put, in any case, if you put the, the, the factors of the case in, and you apply the law neutrally, then you will always get the same result because the law is, it stands alone and it does what it does w with or without a man. Mm -hmm. In fact, the the law doesn't work that way at all. The, 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 the lawgivers and the enforcers they will do what it is they want to do, but they'll use the law to to give them an excuse to do it. The the law just papers over what their their original intentions were. Mm -hmm. So in this case, the prosecutor, for whatever reason, doesn't like this guy, or he wants to to get a, a hard convictions and put people away for a long time because that will redound to his credit as a prosecutor and he'll and he'll succeed in in his business of of putting people in jail. So he charges him with a pound and a half or whatever of hash oil right. even though he knows that it's not a pound and a half of hash oil. It's much 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 less than that. It's a tiny fraction of that. But he's he can use the law to do what he wanted to do was slam this guy against the wall. And furthermore, as 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 bad as some of the outcomes can be, it's preferable to having the ideal of the rule of law because that would having just Having a rule of man is preferable. Yes, having the rule of man is preferable than the rule of law. Because the law, our language doesn't allow us, we haven't, our, our, the language that we've come up with so far doesn't allow us to create laws that are as smart as humans. Mm. Our language limits us and we can't, we can't put down on paper proper conduct for human beings in every situation. And that has been the problem with the law is that they have tried. 
You know, they they literally seems. I mean, there are so many tomes of law books out there. It really seems like they've tried to cover every situation. But regardless, every single time, there's always some little twist. There's always some little detail that the laws weren't written with that in mind. They were written with something else in mind. And now you get to reconcile the difference between what the law says and what the situation is. And I see where you're coming from. If you've got a man who's able to have full discretion in that way then maybe the man will make a more just decision in uh-huh. that case. But unfortunately, in a lot of cases, we have mandatory minimum sentences. And then you've got judges who are men who are saying that they can't. Their hands are tied. They, they uh, you know, If this guy had the, this case come in with this 19-year-old and he's looking at life in prison. And I don't know if there's a mandatory minimum involved here, but the, in a lot of drug laws, there are mm-hmm. in different places, federal level, etc. So if there wa- was a mandatory minimum, this... You know, this judge may look at the case. He may ha- have it tugging at his heartstrings. He doesn't want to send this guy away for 20 years or whatever the mandatory minimum is for a pound and a half of hash oil in, in Texas. And he can't do it. He says he's he's hamstrung by the law. So mm-hmm. the the whole rule of law is used in a lot of cases as an excuse by the men for not being humane. Yes, and it's a dangerous myth, the rule of law, because because people it allows people to pretend that they are not being ruled by men, but that they, but that there is there's something deeper, something stronger, something timeless that is that that they are subjected to instead of the whims of a man. Let's go to the phones, get your thoughts on this. Jim is in Virginia. Of course you can bring up anything you want. Jim, you're on Free Talk Live with the end, Johnny Ray. Hey, guys. Um, this is a good discussion there. Um, obviously, this kid is guilty of intent to distribute sugar and chocolate. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, if, if, if you take a half a gram of substance A and you put it in a two-ton truck, do you now have two tons of that substance? Yes, yeah, it's adulterated I mean, just, by steel. Yep. Just crazy, but, but the, the broader issue is, I think that what you bring up is should prosecutors be elected or should prosecutors be uh, you know just a, an employee of the of the locality what do you think um, well you know having elected prosecutors in Virginia anyway we have elected prosecutors and it makes them subject to right wingers like me I'm you know put away the criminals put away the criminals uh, but then that really leads to a very uh, oppressive state, and it makes the, the the rules of Virginia are really ba- balanced against the accused. Mm. And so that, you know, everybody brags about a 98 percent. I have a 100 percent, you know, conviction rate. But, um, you know, by law, prosecutors are supposed to seek the truth, not a win. Right. They're not, they're not know, bragging to people about how compassionate they are. They're bragging about how— Hard, hardcore they are, and how uh, how much punishment they've uh, they've dished out to people. And yeah, I can see that argument. No one, yeah, see, no one gets elected on the you know running on hey, I'll defend civil liberties of the accused. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, nobody ever that nobody runs on that, and nobody would ever get elected. On the other hand, if you were an employee, you'd be insulated from that, but then you'd be even more under the thumb of the government. Right, then you're a tool more directly of the state. So it certainly seems like a trade-off, although if you can somehow, you know, look at the numbers and see, well, let's compare, you know, compare a prosecutor, compare the average prosecutor in an elected ca- capacity versus a prosecutor who's just a government employee who is appointed and and look at the two. It would be very interesting to see does the elected prosecutor go more gung-ho? Do they prosecute more victimless crimes? Do they put people away for longer periods of time unnecessarily? Or is it? are they less likely to? I'd, I'd be very interested in knowing more about that. And Jim, thanks for your call and sharing your thoughts tonight. Sure. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control here and share your thoughts in the remaining moments of Free Talk Live coming up. May I have your attention, please? If you are trying to lose weight, we need your help. We're AF Plus, and we have too much product and too few participants in our nationwide risk-free trial. 
If you need to lose 30 pounds or more and would like to participate, call now, 1-800-967-9495. AF Plus is an amazing, proven breakthrough in weight loss, a once-daily capsule that can help you lose weight in days. It's also one of the healthiest ways to lose weight because each capsule contains natural ingredients, including green tea extract. You'll boost your metabolic heart rate, allowing you to shed pounds in days with just one capsule a day. Be among the first to call for your risk-free trial. Again, we have too many risk-free trials and too few participants. If you would like to lose 30 pounds or more by taking just one all-natural capsule a day, call now to participate in this nationwide risk-free trial. 1-800-967-9495. That number again is 1-800-967-9495. I'm a very bad man, and today I watched you leave for work. Then I kicked your door and took your stuff. Without a door devil reinforcing your door frame, it was like you invited me. Don't worry, I'll check back in a couple weeks, once you've got new stuff. (laughs) Door devils are available at participating Ace Hardware stores and locksmiths, or visit doordevil.com. Gentlemen, in search of a million-dollar smile that'll make them take notice, I mean really get their attention, then get the mud. My Magic Mud. The fluoride-free whitener with no chemicals, additives, GMOs, or bad taste. And safe to swallow. My Magic Mud detoxifies, reduces sensitivity, cleans and strengthens your teeth while it whitens. Comes as a powder for pure whitening power. Start looking good for that special someone. Get the mud now. MyMagicMud.com Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Do you love coffee as much as I love coffee? Here's a delicious way to drink the best of the best coffee and make a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Comano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox Coffee. And you can try a pound for free. All you do is cover shipping. It's organic, shade-grown, top 1% Arabica grade. 10% of future purchases help our efforts to give the gift of human freedom through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. For more information, go to coffee.freetalklive.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Moments remain here, but enough time for your call. If you dial now, toll free to 855-450-FREE or call us on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. You can go to freetalklive.com. You can get interactive with other Free Talk Live listeners in a variety of ways. And something else you can do there is sign up for our newsletter, our weekly digest that has been coming out for the last several weeks. It's kind of a newer feature of Free Talk Live, and uh, we owe it to the efforts of a couple individuals who are doing a fantastic job helping us out. Uh, Benjamin Bartholomew is putting together a weekly digest audio file, which is about a 75-minute long highlight reel, essentially, of an entire week's worth of Free Talk Live. So Benjamin listens to the whole week all uh, 14 hours in podcast form, 
because you know when you break it down, we do seven nights a week. We're three hours a night. You break down the podcast, take out all the commercials, and it comes down to about 14 hours worth of audio. He listens to all of that, and then he uh, you know he takes his favorite segments, and he puts them all into one audio file and releases that as the Free Talk Live Weekly Digest. That appears in our podcast, so if you're a podcast subscriber, you've been getting those. But also, if you're a newsletter subscriber, you get direct links to each week's version of that Weekly Digest. You can sign up for our uh, emails by going to news.freetalklive.com. There's an email sign-up box there. There's also one on the left-hand side of the front page of the website as well. So be on the lookout for that when you're at freetalklive.com. And get signed up so you can receive those Weekly Digest emails, which also feature some of the most voted-up news stories as submitted by you on the front page of our website at freetalklive.com. Plus, you can follow us on Facebook, Google+, and Twitter, and all of those three are linked to from our news page. Go to news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Johnny Ray, let's change gears here. We can talk about WikiLeaks if we get a chance, but uh, Johnny Ray's Game of the Week has been sort of given a short shrift over the last couple of weeks, and I feel bad about that. A lot of times I won't have one. Some, and when, that's I, true. And when I do, then in the third hour we get jammed with something else. Yeah, sometimes it does work out that way. So, But you do have one this week. It was one you briefly mentioned last week, but we didn't have time to really get into it at that time. So people have been asking about Johnny Ray's Game of the Week this week. So what is it? It's called Hoplite. And I've been playing it on my Android device. It's also available for iOS. Hop light. Two words or one? One word. L I G H T? No, L I T E. It's uh, the it's the Hop Light, H O P L I T E was a Greek spear bearer. Okay. And the story is that you are go going to recover uh, some golden fleece from an underworld. It's loosely based on the the original Golden Fleece story involving Greeks that I'm not too familiar with. But in the game, you the the object of the game is to get to the 16th level, and that's where the fleece is. And as yet, I've only gotten to the 11th. Hmm. But each level is a is procedurally procedurally generated hex map. Procedurally generated Ian means that it's it's done randomly. Uh-huh. The, the game designers haven't haven't um, design these levels. So They're, the game is never the same twice? Exactly. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And so each level is a is a small uh, hex map with mm-hmm. some lava and some stone that you can walk on. You can't walk on the lava. And it's got some enemies on it. And the enemies do uh, d- do different things. Their attacks are, are a little bit different. You've got your demon footman who will just move once a turn. It's turn-based, but it's kind of like Shattered Planet from from last week or whatever, where you move, you you move, you can move three turns, three spaces if you want, but the enemies are moving three also, mm-hmm. so you can speed it up a little bit. But there's the the lowly footman who just approaches, and he can only attack around him. And then you've got an archer who can fire in different directions, but he can't fire uh, if you're he can't hit you if you're standing right, right next, next to, to him. him. Okay. Yeah. And there's there's other ones that have different abilities, and and what you're trying to do is to navigate your way through their damage dealing areas. You know, try and kill them along the way if you can, and and basically just reach the stairs. And you've got to get to the next level. To get to the next level. Also, in addition to these, the the way that you go through is you just move, and you've got a spear that you can lunge with. You've got mm-hmm. you can stab them if you kind of if you move if you're standing next to a guy and you move to another space next to him, then you're able to stab him. You can throw your spear. You can leap. There are some limitations on on these different things. If you throw your spear, then now you don't have it, and you lose an ability until you can go to that space and pick up your spear, and mm. you can do it again. Your leap will cost you a little bit of energy. Also, on every level, there is a, a an altar that you can pray at, and you pray at the altar, and it'll give you a little a little extra bonus ability, okay. or it might give you some extra health, or you could refill the health that you've lost on the way. And if you're if you're really into this hoplite thing, then then one way to to further your enjoyment of it is to you can increase your score by skipping those altars by not using them and limiting yourself as you go as you descend. So kind of hardcore madness. mode, basically, you stay away from the power up. Right, and and your score will be uh, will will be bolstered. This is by a single that. player game. It's a single player game. I like it. It's it's incredibly simple. Um, I've I've in in my own way have almost explained the whole game, 
but it's it's fun to play and and I will continue to uh, to try to get to that 16th level. Like I said, I've, I've only gotten to the 11th so far. So is it that uh, on the 11th level there's just too many enemies? What is it that the, the, the difficulty that you're running up against? Yeah, uh, w- when you each new level you go to, you're going to have more enemies. And that makes your progress through that level a lot trickier. But, Do the levels expand in size and physical size as well over time, or is it all the same kind of it's it's grid? it's it's all uh, it it it's contained in one screen. Hmm, okay, and and it's like that throughout. Got it's it. just more enemies, and I think there are some enemies that I haven't encountered yet that have got you know that are that are able to reach out and touch me probably from the other side of the map. Now, and, how long are you spending? You're going through eleven levels. What what kind of time does it take to go to burn through eleven of these levels? Five minutes. Okay, so this is a game you can easily pick up in a short, you know, you're sitting somewhere waiting for a bus or whatever. You can easily just play this game real quick, and it's something you can easily put down. It's ideal for that. Cool. So it's called Hoplite, H-O-P-L-I-T-E. It appears to be free. I Okay. I thought it had cost me $1.99, but I think that I am mistaken. I bought a lot of games in one night, too. Oh, there, is a, there is something available, some sort of premium mode. So you can venture deeper, they are saying, for a buck ninety nine. Yeah, that's right. So okay. there's a free mode. Yeah, thank a- you for reminding me. Once you get past level sixteen, you can keep going. I read some comments from some people who were really into it and they'd gotten down to level fifty. Oh wow. Or, or something. Which sounds insane to me, but you know, people they love their video games and they'll 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 smoke some meth or take some Adderall or something Whoa. and they'll be playing it all night long. Uh, so I don't know about smoking meth, but anyway, Johnny Ray, I've heard that uh, listeners have been donating, at least one listener donated a game to you. He donated a game to me. He, he sent it to me, bought a couple extra copies oh, on cool. Steam of a game called Magicka. Yeah. And what that looks like, I, I fired it up and I just started right before the show started, but I Right. So but nothing so, more than an initial taste. Yeah, I'm not it. I'm not much informed about it, but it looks sort of like a, a gauntlet or Diablo. This is your, for your PC. Yes. Magica. Yes. A kind of an overhead view with characters and magic and bad guys. And that's all we know now. But it looks I have to say I looked at pictures online. It looks very pretty. It looks very attractive. I've been a fan of Gauntlet for a long time. So Yeah, you've got like I think eight basic spells and the thing is it's the game is about discovery and exploration you you create little combos with all those basic spells let's talk more about it next week johnny ray when we know more or when you know more and thanks to what, what was the listener that you that uh want to give a, a thanks to on that one it was tommy thanks to tommy for uh for reaching out with that so was it one of those things where you can just buy anybody that tommy gives F. you their if somebody gives you an email address you can buy them a game on steam is that how it works or you have to have an account. I had an account. He had an account. Okay, cool. So I needed to. I needed to log in and 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 look at his stuff. So if you want want Johnny Ray to play a favorite game of yours, then he's got Steam, and if it's on Steam, you can get it for him. Wayne is with us in Southern Utah. Uh, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Wayne. Hey, I'm first time caller. Oh, Welcome. Wayne. You we don't have much time. Team. I apologize for that. Go ahead quickly. Okay, I'll try to get in another time with what I want, but I really feel sorry for this fellow in Texas. Yeah, he would okay. clearly think if he would clearly think this out, he would plea bargain in court for three years probation because it is a felony, right? It is the possession of hash wouldn't, oil. Yes. You ra- yeah, wouldn't the the this? He seems to be a young man in college or high school football or something yes i'm on fire walk right now so i'm limited but you know i understand the things and rules in court you're gonna go in there and plead not guilty they're gonna hang them (sighs) yeah i I suspect you're probably right about that and uh you know if a good plea deal comes up especially if he can get a misdemeanor conviction especially if they offer him you know okay well you take the plea you'll only get a misdemeanor we won't get you for the felony uh, that would seem to be the way to go. I think taking the plea deal isn't always a terrible idea. It's just generally I recommend people strongly consider not doing it. We're out of time tonight. Call us again, Wayne. We'll see you tomorrow. FreeTalkLive.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Who do you think Excuse you are? Excuse me. There is no video or audio allowed.
involved in this. Uh, now, I have work today. This is you ain't gonna make. Wait a lot of Now, wait a minute. Oh, wait, you got it wrong. Whoa. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared of me. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Democrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. Radio VR. Good morning and welcome to Radio VR. We're broadcasting live from Washington, D.C. and around the world on voiceofrussia.com slash U.S. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Today is Tuesday, May 20th, 2014. Radio VR News. The Obama administration is taking what it calls unprecedented action against state-sponsored cyber threats in China, charging five military officers with cyber crimes. Vitals correspondent Mark Smith reports. President Obama has warned Chinese leaders repeatedly about hacking aimed at defense and other industries. And while spokesman Jake Carney says Obama wasn't directly involved in these indictments, he does want China to understand this kind of behavior must stop. Government-sponsored, cyber-enabled theft of trade secrets and other sensitive business information for commercial gain is not something we can tolerate. And he rejects assertions America does the same thing. Yes, U.S. spies try to learn military and diplomatic secrets, but he says they do not grab trade secrets to help U.S. companies get a leg up. Mark Smith at the White House. Law enforcement officials say they will continue to pursue any Americans who benefited from Credit Suisse AG's illegal actions as the European bank is pleading guilty to helping wealthy Americans avoid paying taxes through secret offshore accounts. Martin DeCaro has the details. After announcing Credit Suisse will pay more than $2.5 billion in penalties, Deputy U.S. Attorney General Jim Cole said the European bank is helping investigators find the accounts of wealthy Americans whom it helped cheat the IRS. That will allow us to determine where those accounts went, how many accounts they had, some of the size of the accounts. Here's IRS Commissioner John Koskinen. Those not cooperating, uh, we will treat accordingly. A Senate investigation found the bank provided accounts in Switzerland for more than 22,000 U.S. clients, totaling 10 to $12 billion. Martin DeCaro, Washington. Kentucky voters are heading to the polls today in one of the most closely watched Senate primaries involving Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Trey Borlander has the latest. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell is expected to easily win a primary that at one point was seen as his toughest race ever. And even before the polls opened, he was looking ahead to the general election. There's nothing the president and his allies would like better than to defeat the guy you're looking at. Tea Party back challenger Matt Bevan argues that despite his position of power, McConnell hasn't done enough to bring jobs to Kentucky. People are hungry for change. They just need to know they have an option. McConnell's margin of victory will be closely watched as an indication of his strength heading toward the fall campaign. Jerry Bodlander, Louisville, Kentucky. The White House says a retired Marine will receive the Medal of Honor after being badly wounded in Afghanistan in 2010 while protecting a comrade. National Security Correspondent Sagar Magani reports from the Pentagon. Corporal Kyle Carpenter doesn't remember much about the day he and another Marine were on a patrol base rooftop when an insurgent grenade landed. 
Carpenter jumped on it. The last thought that I had was I made peace with God. Assuming he was seconds from death after the blast largely shattered his face and shredded his right arm. Six weeks later, I woke up. And spent the next two and a half years in a hospital undergoing several surgeries. He's now a 24-year-old college student in South Carolina who says he wouldn't trade his time in Afghanistan for anything in the world. Sagar Megani at the Pentagon. A Connecticut high school senior gets a prom shocker from Vice President Joe Biden. Tim McGuire has a story. Talia Maselli says at first the idea of inviting Vice President Biden to the prom was just a joke with her friends, but she did it anyway, sending the invitation in a letter last fall. In that letter, Maselli wrote that if Biden turned her down, she would have to ask Speaker of the House John Boehner. To her surprise, the Newington, Connecticut student got a handwritten note and a corsage last week from Biden. He wrote he was flattered by the invitation, but his schedule kept him from attending. I'm Tim McGuire. And the White House will have its first talent show tonight. Correspondent Carlotta Bradley reports on Michelle Obama's Arts Education Showcase. First Lady Michelle Obama and the President's Committee on the Arts and Humanities are hosts for the show, featuring acts by students from poor performing schools that participate in the committee's turnaround arts program. Several major artists are also slated to perform. The committee created the program in collaboration with the White House and Education Department as an experiment two years ago in eight elementary and middle schools. The purpose to test the theory that art education can help improve student outcomes and create more positive learning environments. It's expected an announcement will be made that the program is expanding. Carlotta Bradley, Washington. And that's the news for Radio VR in Washington. I'm Kate Zickel. And I'm Rick Young. Police in Lehman, Michigan, describe a local student's recently foiled plans to commit a deadly school shooting as, quote, embarrassingly bad. Authorities apprehended 17-year-old Trent Bayer Thursday after finding him in an empty hallway struggling to load a pathetically small caliber pistol while simultaneously attempting to unfold an inaccurate map of the school. Lehman Police Chief Ethan Holman elaborated several ways Bayer's strategy could have been more effective, including setting off a homemade explosive in the teacher's lounge, executing popular students first, and at the very least, purchasing some military fatigue. 